Huh? Hey? Huh? 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 Actually, somewhat, okay. Somewhat on time, but also I have water and I have everything. I have most things ready. Great. Cool. It's time, so it's fucking time. <laughs> well, sit down. It's another fucking day. And it's another fucking day that I agonize for several reasons. Several, several reasons that I agonize. Okay, first of all, I fucking lied because I... I I forgot you're supposed to get a call from Date every time you want to do a lifelink. And I have not gotten a call from Date, which means I cannot do a lifelink right now. Which means I do have to go and progress the story at least a tiny bit before I can do that. Which is... Wow. Wow. I mean, then again, I did say I probably wouldn't get any story progression done. Probably. Oh. Moshi moshi. Moshi moshi. Date da, Kiryu. Yeah, the harbor light. What was it? What about it? Well, never mind. <laughs> now I'm a clown two times over. Let's fucking go. Man? Alright. I mean, I figured since I was pretty, you know, say to you off. Well, then again, the game did leave me off like right there and I didn't really move. So, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, at least that means I can do that right away instead of having to fucking wait for it. Oh, it's gonna be a little weird. It's gonna be a little weird. Let's see, before I go there, I know can quest is one thing I can do, so let's 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 do this. I'll see what that looks like. Not by is that you? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Kansan, it's been a while. Uh, three years. Well, it's not like I've gone anywhere. What about you? If somebody vanished just like that, I've gotta assume the worst. Why not take the bike for a spin if you still can? Ah, uh, maybe. I'll let you know if I have time. Yeah, right. <laughs> nah, but who the fuck is this? Oh, sorry about that. This is Kansan. He runs a sort of uh, local recycling program. He's good to the homeless in this area. We take his bikes out and scrunch up empty cans. You know, keep the streets clean. Also, what do you mean, we? You're not homeless anymore. <laughs> huh? At least, well, not really. Sussy. <laughs> nah, he's cool. Khan is cool. Heh, <laughs> Ichiban took, it, took to it instantly. Never seen a guy so can do for cans. Fuck you. Oh. Huh. You did it on bikes, you said? Hmm? That's right. You're welcome to give it a shot. All my can carts are custom made by yours truly. Of course, there'll be others on the road, too. That's where the game gamesmanship comes in. Consider your route. Watch out for competition. Plus, I yeah, offer rewards. Yeah, come on, Kansan. Does this guy look homeless to you? I have an easier time picturing him collecting depths than cans. <laughs> hmm, actually sounds pretty interesting. I'll give it a try. <laughs> exactly, now we should- Huh? Seriously? You know, you and Ichiban are a lot alike. You give anything a shot no matter what. I wish I had the kind of drive. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, it gives me points, so I want it. Son of Arya Forest Merchant. I never made that connection before, actually, but now you mention it, yeah. Ka a little bit. Then I, I don't think he's ever referenced Merchant, though. So, ooh, can't can't do the funny. But it, they do look similar. Hopeless bumper car. Yeah, no, it, yeah, pretty much. No, actually, like, pretty much. That's pretty much what Conquest is. At some point, depending on how you play it. If you're ever interested in another ride, come see me. Everyone should try it at least once before they kick the can. Uh. <laughs> that might be true. I'm trying to think of a can pun that connects to me brutally murdering you, but I can't think of one right now, so you're lucky. Guess you'll have to wait until I can. 
<laughs> Anyways, what's up? Oh fuck, that's a lot actually. Yeah. Nice, so nice, so nice, so nice, so nice, so nice, so Holy shit, frame rate. Wow. Impish kiss. Uh, reducing electricity and giving him a cold. Charm to reduce defense. Uh, that's within the AoE. Okay. Let's hit. Oh, they're spread out like shit. Okay. Um, let's get you, actually. Because I'm going to have. Yeah, I'm going to need a grapple. Hi, Ski. Okay, you do have a grapple, right? Yeah. Damn, just an enemy with a dummy neck choke. If this KOs your target, it boosts your attack as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's hot. Nice. Let's see. Let's grab you. Bye. Ready to yak? What? Oh, he's playing the homeless pass. What the fuck? Oh, Kamura. Clap some care. Sure. Nice. Uh... Oh boy. Smash that. All right. So help a bit. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Let's do candle rush just to take both of you out. Well, it's assuming it'll actually. Never mind. Oh, the other guy's next. Okay, fine. Or not. Ow, ow, ow. Please die. Bye bye. Hayakawa. Whoa, okay, alright, come on. Now. Unclear information, weird ass animations. Thanks for the money, though, and the level up. That's convenient, too, because Nanba was so low. Sh on MP. Thank you. Alright. What am I doing? Still need a lot. Still, still need a lot. Then again, I don't think I can unlock the next couple links until... Oh, no, I can actually get most of them. Yeah, no, I can, I can get a lot of them this chapter. Hmm. Fuck, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing this for a while. Good thing I found conquest, so I have something else to do. Yo, you're here. Wanna collect some cans? Yep, yep. Collecting cans here is all about survival. I'll teach you some formalities and techniques. Okay. I mean assuming it's it's the same as as before, this shouldn't be a big deal, I don't think. Right? Time limit. Liquids, yep. Yeah, no, it's no, pretty much the same. Yeah, so just wait, aim to collect your quota, get back for turns out, yep. That said, well, oh, what can I do with the cans I collect in the hand to you? Yep. And the cans you collect are deemed for eco points. You can exchange your points for cash or junk. They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ho ho. Mm hmm. Forget anything or need more info? Just come and ask me. Alright. Can I use. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. I think. Oh, I have to unlock these. Fuck. These are. Can quest was not that hard. I think I only had to retry like once ever. And that was on the hardest course. I just need to remember, I think there was a drift option, but I don't remember what the what the button was. <laughs> Fucking wild that they're gonna give these animations to Kiryu though. <laughs> just like collecting cans plus all the other shit. Hmm, I'm curious. But yeah, part of the thing in here is Go pick or go home, collect enough cans to blast your quota, or return... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You have ranking, so I am gonna be sticking here for a bit. Now, let me go and beat up some homeless people, because you are supposed to bump into them so you can get more counts. I don't remember what the max here is, though. I don't know if it was S or A. I think it was S, but I'm not too sure. Read give me a minute. He beats up the homeless, yep. And it's not unjustified. Okay, well it is unjustified, but you, you, know, you, know, you know, you know, you know, no, we're doing for a good cause. See, we are gonna eliminate the homelessness problem in Yucho by just killing them. Is this the... Can I get more? Or no? Shit, I don't... I genuinely don't remember if there's S-Ranks in this. this be a problem. Yes, there is. Okay. Alright, let's go. Bye. Especially hot sauce, you couldn't pay me to stop chilling. Arrived today after I ordered it on my birthday. I'm gonna get my bonus chicken, and they just say I'm cooking. I finally got the new lime jalapeno flavor, too. Damn. Damn! Nice, 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 nice. Honestly, I feel like it would have been more convenient to have it, like, order it earlier and just get it on your birthday, but hey, I mean, at least you have it. Good on you. Oh, yeah, I, have to, I actually have to play this shit over and over if I want to get the can ranks. Blech. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Rough hot sauce. The products really redefined hot sauce by incorporating rich black truffles into them. <laughs> Matana. Matana. You know what? I if I ever if I ever get big enough to do sponsors, I don't think I ever would. But if I ever get one for truffle hot sauce, I will just just for you, <laughs> just for you. <laughs> just so there could be two people who show that shit. VIP grasses. Exclusive for assassins. Sunglasses used to hide the identity of an important page in ancient ancient page. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's do. Let me double check what the requirements for can quests were actually. Was it memoir? No, no, it was unfinished business. It was mini games. So. Fuck. Okay. There is a bunch of shit, but I can't. Yeah. Hmm. Can Glamorado Cankerer. Collect this many cans. Can Crash. I think heap of cans can be easily gotten. Somewhat, but it's the later ones that are gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright, let's let's get these. Oh. Like more so they're a pain in the ass because it's it's just replaying the courses over and over instead of actually doing you know any more challenging shit. Yeah. But oh well. I mean, depending on how they structure the hard course, I could end up doing that multiple times anyway. Well, we'll see. I don't. I you doubt it. it. This mini game has never was never all that hard in, in seven, and it hasn't changed like at all. Like this is basically exactly the same as it was back then, just with Kiryu instead of Ichiban. This shouldn't be bad. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello! Goodbye! Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck me. Uh, Alright, yeah, I can... He might start chasing me, depending if he's... Nope! How oh, do you want the homeless class? That comes in by default if you're playing Nanba. Or, like, I think, like, no, it's, it's just Nanba that has it by default. Like, that's his default class. But everyone else just like that's that's his own, that's the only one who can get it though. As far as I know. I think the only other close equivalent is maybe oh shit. It's maybe Ichiban having like a freelancer class in this game and then having another like loyalist class in seven, but well, otherwise not really. There's not much of a homeless oh. equivalent. Uh, let's see, can I catch you fuck? 
Oi, 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 oi. No, can I? Mm. Okay. I need to kill this guy. Hello. Okay, I can cross this energy drink and then maybe start chasing a bit. Shit, that's really convenient. Uh, yo, 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 yo. I might be able. No, I... What do I do with the two here? Bro. Die, bro. Uh... Oh, I had the S rank. Okay, we're good. We're fine. No need to do anything else. Unless this fucker bumps into me, which I hope not. <laughs> Alright, GG's. I think I've seen that brand. Might check out it. Might check it out more thoroughly since it's expensive, though. Just making a joke? No, it's it's real. It's fucking real. That's the thing. It is quite literally real. Uh, yeah, that's that, that's how Yaks it works. If you if you think of a joke, something that sounds ridiculous, there's about a one in three chance that Yakuza has done it already, like completely unironically. Yay. It's been on the expensive side, but it's worth it. You can get a bottle for $15 and you will not regret it, period. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I never looked into it myself. I don't know if I can really get it where I am, but... I mean, I probably can't get it from any local stores, but... Might order it. Depends, maybe. Yeah, let's just do the hard course. At least just to get the... The 1,000 can shit. Personal favor is the white truffle hot sauce. Hmm? Ikuzo! Ikuzo! Ah, should've gone out the middle. Yeah, just so I can get the energy drink easier. I mean, I still get this pretty easily, but it's a bit annoying. Get fucked. Did you get hit? Or no? Yeah, okay. Ooh, that's a bad route I took, though. Let me go down the middle so I can get the energy drink. Ring. Ring. Oh. Well, well, well. How convenient. And there's someone I can kill. How convenient. Die. <laughs> Let me turn around again. Down the middle. Like, I want to I wanna constantly have an energy drink on me just in case the homeless come attacking me. <laughs> I don't know how bad that sounds out of context. Just, yeah, I need to have person. I need, I need to have energy drink so I can attack all these people. Yeah, leave it alone. I don't want to hit that. I actually don't think I can pick those up if I already have a drink on me, but just in case. Just in case they do overlap. Oh, frame rate's going to shit. Why are you following the truck? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Why? Why was? What was the purpose? What was the plan? Right, where are you going? Okay, you're leaving. Okay, I think if I just kill like one or two people, I should be able to meet Koda. Hmm. Let's wait. Let's just wait and see if I can get to die. Oh, it's just barely. Nice. Nah, right, well, GG's. GG's. The rest should be easy as fuck. What's the quota anyway? 750? Hello. Oh, no, just 700. Okay. God, I'm good. Nice all. See, I told you, it's easy. This minigame's not hard at all. Easy air. Yeah. Yosh! Yosh! Cool animation. That doesn't beat Ichiban's animation though, where he, he like claps and then does does that. It's like <clears throat> nuts. Nice. Okay, so that was tech and I think so, right? Oh no, body. <laughs> Yay. I think with rank ups I can get more stuff in conquest. Or like more and more stuff in the shop. Mm -hmm. 
You're gonna hang of nabbing cans. Hey, care to celebrate? Uh, hey, to celebrate leveling up? Here, take this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. While I'm here, then, let me exchange points real quick. Oh! <laughs> right, I forgot they did that, too. Whoa, you look at that. If I collect enough garbage, I get the Shin Megami Tensei Five soundtrack. Hmm. Now, what did they mean by this? <laughs> if I remember right, in 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 uh, Yakuza Seven, the reward was actually um uh was actually the Persona Five, like a couple of Persona Five tracks, <laughs> which I think is funnier. Oh, man. Yeah, well, it's not the whole soundtrack, but it's you know it's it's two tracks. It's music. No, let's see. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, that's five star equipment, though. Hmm, that wouldn't be bad to get. Oh, not be bad to get. Hmm, actually, yeah, maybe I could grind that a bit. Not overly so, but you know. Yeah, let's just do one. Let, let's do one more. Just one more of these, and then I'll. Keep moving. You don't need to play SP5 now. <laughs> Just listen to the soundtrack. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit's gonna take forever once I once I do play it, because holy fuck. Granted, I don't know I don't know how much the new route is gonna do, but the thing is I wanna do like the vanilla route and the new route, but like, I, mean, I never played vanilla, so... I don't know, I don't know how that goes, I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a bit... A lot of games I have in the list are gonna be a bit... Which is a problem. Shit, okay, I should have changed that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's one other... Oh, one. Nice. I think what I am going to agonize more over though is the games, the few physical games I have. Cause I fucking, like okay, like uh, two two days ago, like on Friday, or, uh, not today, but, you, know, you, know, you know, on Friday, I fucking got the, uh, I finally got a fucking game capture that I ordered, that I wanted to use for streaming physical games on my, off my PS2. And to my fucking a bit of shock, but also not really. Yeah, it still looks a bit blurry. <laughs> still, quality is still not amazing. It still looks like slightly, slightly blurry, a bit blurry, which really fucking annoyed me. I was like, okay, you know, maybe it looks like shit because it's on my monitor, but you know, once it's once I stream it and it's on video, on video capture, it'll be fine. Nope. I mean, it doesn't look awful, it's just not ideal. And what fucking, what bothered me even more is that right after I booted up that same game on my PS2 emulator and it looked a bit jagged, and I was like, ah, well, you know, it's, it's clearer, but it looks, the like, graphics aren't all that great, because it's not, you know, it's running on emulator. And then I decided to, like, upscale it. I decided to upscale the emulator, so now it's, like... All the shit, all the textures look way better, the character models look way better, and it looks super, super nice. It looks so fucking nice when you upscale that shit on an emulator. Which made me even more conflicted, because now I'm like, man... It looks better, and it is slightly more clear, but... I really, I really, I really want to play them physically. I even have some of the ones I want to fucking stream. But I have some physical copies of them, too. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't know what's better to just have like slightly blocky textures but have them look really, really nice, or everything looks accurate but it's slightly blurry. Yeah, I thought it might have been an issue with my with my game capture too, or or something like some sort of hardware issue. And then I looked up like let's play videos of. Of like some of those PS2 games, and it's like nah, it's, e even even when you capture it, even people who have like good captures and shit, still you can still see like a tiny bit of blur. It's not a hundred percent clear. And I was like, fuck. 
it's just that's this just is what it is. Mm. I don't know. Uh. They're doing great. Consider the bonus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll come back for more for sure. What's up? Uh, what are my points right now, actually? Uh. Uh. uh, thirty. Oh, fuck. That's gonna be a while. Matana. Matana. Yeah, it's gonna take me. A, it's gonna take me a bit to do that. Okay. Now what is gonna happen here? Probably remembering the one of the bridges in Southern Body. If I had to guess, it would be the Eastern Bridge. I forget what it's called. Huh. There's sure a lot of bridges in the Jean Show. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. No, that's the wait. Oh no 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 no! That, yeah, that is that is the Eastern Bridge. That is the Eastern Bridge. Whenever I see a bridge. <laughs> Can't help but think of the countless times that have, I'd have to throw somebody somebody off of one. We've got to try making better memories while I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, the sight from the bridge isn't too bad. If the local punks ever get on my bad side, I know exactly where to toss them. <laughs> where do these thoughts even come from? Fucking psychotic. Absolutely psychotic. No, Hamako, why are you a uh, reminiscence though? Hamako san, domo. Domo. Oh, Saiko. I can't smoke at the guy. Ah, Chinamise? Bochi bochi yo. Hamako san no tokora wa? Monton toko ga bochi bochi nara, kochi mo nita yo na mon ka ne. Eh? Kekko hima na jikan tai ga okute sa. Sore yori. ない顔のお兄さんがいるね。最近こっちに来たんだ。俺は太一鈴木太一ってもんだ。は何だいその怒りもな偽名は。うん。いや、偽名。飛ぶけんじゃないよ。自分の名前名乗るのにそんな偽
Uh, sure. Not sure what this is a memoir, though. So, why is this a memoir? Unless it's just going to be reminiscing about Seven, but that'd be kind of weird. I don't think she'd invite me for tea alone. We just met too, so what does she need to tell me? あ、<笑> そいつがある時偉人町に来てね。ブリーチジャパンって<笑> ボルシェ。私のことも それは実は寝積み取りの罠 知らなかった。そんなことがあったんだね。ただ。あんたには酒を Never trusting a politician after all that shit. And rightfully so. あいつ、あんな男だから、こんなつまらないこと覚えてないかもしれない。あ、he'll そこまでずうずうしい答えはないよ。ただ誰かに聞いて欲しかったんだよね。と言って何倍朝子じゃダメだ。あいつらには私の弱いとこ見せたくないから。だからって俺が相談相手になると思ったのか。あばらは。あん
body. I don't know which one's which here. I feel like Soul is probably the top choice. I, I want to level up all the other ones, so let's... Let's say maybe he did, but I don't recall. Oh, okay. Go, man, a sec. つまらないことに時間を取らせたね。悪かったよ。いや、誰にでもあんたと同じようなことがある。喉に小骨が引っかかって取れねえような感覚。忘れちまおうとしても何かがそれを良しとしねえ。うん。要は、けじめがついてね
Here. Actually, we should probably check out Rushmore. Yeah. Mount Rushmore. Where? Why can't I target you? There we go. Let me see, can I grab both of you or no? Yeah, I should be able to. Never mind. Oh, never mind. And you're both charmed, so it's basically GG's. Nice. Okay, let's hit you. And let's hit you. <laughs> Nice. Uh, hey, Kanji. Thank you. I have 7 million yen. Holy shit. Holy shit. I can play so much prize grabber. <laughs> Alright, Leah. Let's just go up. Mm, I don't want to fight those guys, but. Yeah, no, nah, it might be helpful. That, that way I can at least get more, like, kills and get more. Just get more stuff. And level up faster, too. I might do. Hmm. Might see about doing that one. Uh, the Lao Ka Long quest again, because I am a better level now. I've used level 32. Yeah, right now I'm 31. Probably itching a bit closer to 32, so I should be able to kill him now. And then again, the only real issue is that I don't have. Nice. I don't think I have anything for electricity though, because I changed Sonic's class. Do I have like liquid? What was it called? That was like a nitrogen, whatever, like whatever it is. Nitrogen spray? No, no, I don't have anything for that. Eh. Nah, it should still be doable just with raw damage, I think. And I do have debuffs anyway, so it'll be fine. I'll be fine, probably. Don't have to exploit weaknesses every single time. Here, before we actually do the life link, though, let me get this. Oh, you know, I think about it, I think I should also be able to. Actually, is there more? What are the icons? These ones. Does that include? Yeah, it does include these. So it's just Lao Kalong here, and then something way out there. I think that might be... Might be... Pocket Racer? Actually, no. I think... It, no. I think Pocket Racer is actually just his own lifelink. Now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure you... Like, there, there's an implication of, of seeing him, the lifelinks. So it's probably just... Yeah. He's one of the lifelinks. Alright, so let's debuff. Daisuke! Ooh, all debuffs. Not all charms, though. Let's go. Okay, good work. Good. Let's go to rush. Hit you. Uh -huh -huh. And let's get you two. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Alcohol toss. Ow. Oh, it gives me a cold, bro. Pist pistol. Nice. Dynamite toss. Oh, shit. I thought that was an AoE, unless. Hmm. Might be misremembering. Hey, hey! Okay, let's hit. Let's get you. Oh, sorry, let's get you. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, let's. Let's kill you. Then Sonhi. Hmm, that'll be good. Probably. Try to charm. Oh, I, I'm surprised that fucking hit. I will. I thought I seriously missed time, but. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. 
and kill with Rush. Let's go lifelink. Let's go to the lifelink. I don't know who this who this one's gonna be, honestly. I feel like they're gonna they're gonna reserve like the most hype ones for like the later bit, but we'll see. We'll see. Toma, so now I get the oh. Anna to Taichu Abuji Okinawa ni kaitata. Kuko made me okuri ni tiktanda. Oh, たっぷり東京土産も持たせたぜ。キャバクラで殴られた埋め合わせにと思ってよ。そうか。太一のやつ背は掛け上がって。ありがとうな。だってさ。待った。礼を言うのはまだ早いぜ。今日はこれから先の
He'll be okay. Akiyama da tara daijoubu nan janai ka? Aitsu wa sonna yawa na otoko janai. Maa na, shoujiki ore mo sou mou. Wagatta yo. Ittan Akiyama no koto wa ii. Oh, okay, well shit. To wa iie, omae ga ki ni kakeru ningen wa Akiyama hitori janai hazu da. So who? Ore ni dou shiro ten da, date sa. Mae ni mo itta hazu da ze.俺はお前のエンディングノートとやらを充実させてやりたいんだ。だから大道一の約束は破らない範囲内で、お前なりに昔の仲間たちと区切りをつけるといい。俺がそのダンドリをつけるからよ。秋山だって、いずれ俺が
Well, just to save a bit of time until we actually... Do I want to deal with you? Not really. Here, let's eat. Let's just eat one thing. Just, I need to save on money, as if I don't have enough. Itadakimasu. 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 Yay. Thank you so much. Okay. I was one of these spawn the enemies, but thank you. Wait, no, I'm tempted to go there now and also just to like... I want to see if I'm not at a good level to start taking on the random enemies there. Because I remember I, like early on when I could go there... Oh, well shit. Oh, what? Oh. Okay. I, I thought I thought he was calling me to like set up a different, <laughs> a different life like, for a second. All right, let's get rid of this though. Or let's try to get get this over with. Unless this is. Wait a minute. Unless this is restricted to a certain time of day, but I don't think it would be if it's showing up. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no. I'm fucking dumb. It was, it was over here. No, I don't remember. Right. Yeah, I did go through all the cutscenes here already, so it's just gonna skip it. Just gonna skip all this. Ciao, Kalong! Alright, okay. Okay, what should we start with? Let's start with. Do I have any debuffs? No. Right, let's start with defense, actually. Alright. Okay, second thing. Oh, you only have offensive attacks, huh? Uh, then burnt or fearful, charm, applies attributes, and boost attack. Alright, let's boost attack. Nice. No. Lower attack or reduce defense. Let's go with attack first. Yay. I kind of thought he's going to be able to get, like... He's gonna get a charm though. Well, shouldn't, shouldn't count on it. Let's see. I think you can bleed. So let's try. What can we try here? Let's see if I can get the death uh, 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 uh. Yeah, at least I'm not taking a horrific amount of damage now. Or maybe, maybe I still am, it's just, you know, I don't feel it as much as I'm not... I have a lot more health, though. Yasha! Vagrant Splitter, oh shit. Chill! Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's heal. Let's heal. Let's heal. Alright. Boost attack. Oh wait, you didn't wait, you didn't get the, get the buff? What the fuck? Let's try again. Kiryu is bleeding profusely. Okay. Um can stun. Oh yeah, we can't stun. Right, let's try that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, right, you have the counter. Ooh, ooh, this will help. Let's see. Boost attack, agility, sure, let's agility. Oh, this might be a bit wasted since it's not. Oh, no, no, it's still good damage. Chill. I don't know where from where I get this, like, weird idea 
that like if an attack is it, 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 I don't know which game it was but I was getting this idea now in every single RPG and even even some non RPGs too that like if here, let's do this. Like, if an attack is an AoE, then it's gonna deal less individual damage to enemies. Like, no matter what. Like, even with buffs, it's just gonna be less. Ow, fuck. To single targets, so never, never use AoE attacks on single targets. Which is probably wrong most of the time, but... I don't know. Alright, let's do combos, bitch! Uh, 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 uh. Then, uh, 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 no, yeah, uh, uh, do you have the double fall? Yes, we do! Oh, shit! Can we... No, okay. <laughs> Still, that was good. Uh, 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 oh! Let's have the double combo. Mm, 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 mm. Boost evasion? Sure. Not sure how much this will help though, given that it's she's just been targeting Kiryu the whole time. Fuck, you might get killed here. No, never mind. No, no, no. Fuck, where did I hit him? Jesus. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get you. DQ has something similar with buff and kabuff spells. Oh, I didn't know that, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what game it was. I like. I want to say it was a Fire Emblem, but that no, it does make sense because that's not. You can't really do AOE in that game. I don't know what it was. Yeah, no, I, I can't. I can't think of what it is. I just know it. Like some game put that into my head, and I've just never, never, <laughs> never recovered from that trauma. Nice. Oh no. Alright, as long as you don't turn the key, it's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a bit worried for Kiryu. Because he's not gonna be able to. I don't think. I don't think they can damage block this. When he's stunned. Ow. Okay, let me get Sonhi back. Uh, where's my... what's the shitty ones? With one health, just pray that you don't get targeted and pray that you're not hit by an AoE. Uh, 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 okay, Namba... Oh, no, he can't do... oh, shit. Uh, 300 damage is not gonna kill here, uh... shit. I'm gonna have to pray. Shit. Okay, let's do toughness light on you. And hope that Sunky doesn't get targeted. Alright, good. Uh, 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 that's gonna kill you. Bleed is gonna kill you here. Yep. God damn it. Ow, fuck. Yeah, let's bring you back. Uh, like, I wanna, I wanna make sure everyone's back so that, you know, I don't lose out on XP. Like, nobody loses out on XP. Here. Alright, let's... hope that Kiryu comes back next turn. Otherwise, this is gonna be very embarrassing. Ah, oh, good. Now, should I really stake stake this all on him getting this shit? Yes. Oh, I fucking no! That would have killed too, man. Okay, at least you're gonna do this. All right, Namba, you get you, you get the honors of the kill, even though I would like Kiryu to be the one to kill. But whatever. Oh, it's a baseball. GGS. 
Oh, you oh, you're glitching out. Holy shit, two million yen for that? まだ強くなれるだね。悪くない気分だぜ。悪くない。おお、アセスリメンバーツ。人生これ成長。まあ、ピュアスのだ。自分身が出てきたぜ。素直に喜んでおくか。まだまだ強くなれそうだ。見た
Let me go eat something. And then we'll head over to Kamarocho. Kind of surprised Sako didn't level up there, though. It does remind me, I think at some point I'm gonna have to remember to do like a... A quick... Like, run. Like a quick supply run. Because eventually... I'm gonna run out of revives and, and like, you know, item heals. Oh, they didn't float. Oh, fuck. Wait. Give me, no. give, 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 give me, give me, give me, give me something else. Itadoki Mouse. There we go. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'll go talk to Date, but first, I'm gonna step out for a second. I'm gonna, I just, I just need to, I just, I just, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in like uh, three ish minutes. Hold on, where's my BRB? There we go. BRB!
Holy fuck, that. <laughs> that button press is loud as fuck. I need to. I should just mute myself on OBS, but I'm too paranoid. I'm too paranoid. Mm -mm, let's get rid of this. Alright. I also have this bad feeling. I also have this bad feeling if I don't physically mute the mic. It's just it's just somehow gonna pick up anyway. And you're just gonna you're just gonna hear me munching on cookies for no reason. <laughs> when I don't mean to. But alright, we're back. We're back, let's go. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I think it starts with like cutscene, doesn't it? Oh no, not really. Kamuro Chon was Shinise Host to grab Stardust. Shinise Ka. Yeah, they had like that whole underground shit before. Mm. I wonder, like, I wonder if that's still there. I wonder if Kazuki and Yuya are using it. Huh? <laughs> Hey, my boy! Yuya. Yuya. Hey, the hell are you doing? Hey, what the hell Nah, bro. <笑>そんな安い脅し文句しか出ねえのか。それじゃあ今のカムロ町には通用しねえぞ。てめえの方こそ。うちに手出したことを後悔するんでね。スターダスカムロ町。ダーン。ホリーシェットユヤ。And <笑> Kazuki Do you still have the same suit as before? Or no, slightly different. Kazuki! Mm. Yeah, you, you've aged. You've aged. You look more mature now. It's cool, though. Kazuki! <laughs> Yeah, holy shit. It's, it's genuine like nothing has fucking changed. Like that's they have this exact relationship and this exact fucking like status. Even all the way back in Yakuza 1. God damn. Although Yuya Yuya is is way stronger now for sure. なあ、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、
ああ、あの頃人言派はスターダストをカムロ町進出の足がかりにしてたからなもおじさん詳しいっすねけどねそれには訳があったんですよ I was there when it was being written. 結局のところ人言派に目をつけられたのは町の構想のとばっちりだったんですそもそも人言派は大昔に一度登場界のヤクザからボコボコにされてんですよね、yeah, I remember. おじさんたちくらいの年なら知ってるでしょほら道島の竜ってすげえ強かったヤクザ、no, what is that? <笑><笑>ああ名前くらいは聞いたことがある<笑>キリュウ・カズマはお世話になったわけ。キリュウ・カズマはお世話になったわけ。キリュウ・カズマはお世話になったわけ。キリュウ・カズマはお世話になったわけ。キリュウ・カズマはお世話になったわけ。キリュウ
やっぱりそうですよね<笑>おい何だってんだよ昔あんな感じで優也はヤクザと喧嘩してたんですそのうちの一人がキリュウさんでした<笑>なるほどそうだったのか。That whole interaction in the English dub is so fucking funny. It's, it's one of the most memorable parts of the、uh, like OG Yakuza 1. めちゃくちゃに強かったですよ、あの人は。トイモンジョー、オルモメットに負けなかったんですけど。最初は、ミカジメモクテキノヤクザにしか見えなかったんですよね。<笑>その時、ドジマのリュウが相手だったとは、夢にも思わなかったわけだ。<笑>早いもんですよね。キリュウさんが亡くなったときは、もう誰も知らない。Just death. <笑>それでも、ああ、まだに信じられない。チェンリーは、キリュウさんがはキリュウさんがいつかフラット店に来るんじゃないかってボトルを用意してるんです。Oh. それもうちの店にある一番高い酒をね。<笑>困ったもんです。もったいない。いや、ユウヤの気持ちは上がるよ。俺だってあいつが死んだなんて信じられねえこの町であの人を知ってるもんはきっとみんな同じ気持ちでいるはずです、うん、けどよあいつと関わってると面倒ごとに巻き込まれることも多かったよなスターダストなんてもろにそれで迷惑こむった口だろさっき店に立ってたホストがそう言ってたぜ<笑>確かにそれはそうですね大体あの人が来るときは、厄介事を抱えてました。とばっちり食ってるなと感じることもしょっちゅうだったし。あれ<笑>今になってキリュウさんをこんな風に言ったら、俺、ちょっと卑怯ですかね。You'd be surprised. いいさ、溜め込んでることがあんなら、全部ここで吐き出しまえよ。けど、その厄介事に一番体張っていたのもキリュウさんです。あの人の歯食いしばってる姿を見てると俺らは何も文句なんか言えなくなっちまう、うん、例えば初めて会った時あの人は登場会を一人で敵に回して戦おうとしていましたそして組の金庫から消えた100億をめぐってその鍵を握る少女を守りきったあの時の桐生さんの背中を思い出すたびに俺たちも何度奮い立たされてきたことかちょっと何か人生でうまくいかない時期があっても頑張れる気がするんですよ。え、ね、そんなキリュウさんだから俺らはいつまでたっても帰ってくる気がしちまうんです。ねえ、伊達さん。ん今日俺らを呼んでくれたのって何でですかもしかしたら何かあったんじゃ。<笑> no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. そうですね。実はキリュウさんのことで新たな事実が判明した。Don't worry about it. やっぱりあの人は死んでなんかいなかったとか。な何言ってんだよ。なんじゃねえ。俺ただ久々にお前らの声が聞きたくてよ。そっか。そうですよね。Yeah, don't worry about it. <笑><笑>ちょっと当てが外れちゃいましたかね。うんお前ら、カズキさんはいつだってキリュウさんに恥ずかしくねえようにしたいって、そう言ってスターダストの所有権も必死になって取り返したんですよ。うん、ああ、大変だったろ。でもおかげでスターダストは昔の輝きを取り戻しつつある。カムロ町のこの辺一帯もだ。それは旗目にもよくわかるよ。今のスターダストは。キリュウさんに見せても決して恥ずかしい店じゃありません、うん、だからもう一度見てほしいですよ I don't want to walk around now to really see if that's true though Just kind of seems like the city is not much different than before 大丈夫だあいつはきっとちゃんとお前らの頑張りを見てるさ間違いねえ俺はそう確信してるぜ今日は長々と付き合わせちまったな。忙しいだろうに悪かったよ。なあ。あんたが謝ることなんかねえよ。こっちこそ手間を取らせた。カズキもユウヤもずっと変わらずお前を慕ってる。言った通りだったろ
お前がカムロ町で戦ってきた一つ一つの記憶が今でもあの町の住人の励みだ、mm. それを知ってお前はどう思った It was interesting. It was definitely interesting. 正直に言えば嬉しかった自分の葬式の参列者の話を盗み聞きしてるみたいだったかな。いや。<笑>確かにな。ちげえね。自分がどんな生き方をしてきたかわかるよな。てめえの葬式の席ってな。中には死んで生成したなんていうやつもいるだろう。でもお前はそんなんじゃなかった。俺はお前にそのことを思い知らせてやるつもりだ。次も誰か新しいゲストを引き合わせるよ。楽しみに待っててくれ。Mm-hmm. Which I can get right now, I think. At least I should be able to get it now. Gochiso san, Mata Kuru. Oh, Mata Nakiru. Jimbi got the Kishidai, Suguni Lenak Sugarao. Memories of Stardust. I saw Kazuki and Yuya over in Tamurocho. Though the club is a shadow of its former self, it's a far cry from the Jingwon Mafia took over. If only I could open up a bottle they prepared for me. Or open up the bottle they prepared for me. But I suppose the fact that they've kept it so long is satisfying enough. Yay. Oh, they're pound mates now. Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. I'll try. Oh, uh, they're probably going to be expensive as shit, though. Hmm. I'll try to call them up when I can, though. And also, I should check. I should check the essence of remembrance as soon as I can. Here, let's uh. I'm gonna run. I'm probably gonna end up running down like all the. All the part time hero shit. So let me. Let me just finish the ones in the bottom half of the city. And that way I can just start running around like this top half because there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to view over here. I don't know if this. Uh, actually, I think just that, plus all the ones in Kaburocho, should be enough to get me to. to get me to all the levels I need. Yeah. Mm, to be all, yeah. the, all the lifelinks. At least I hope so. I do enjoy the mini games, but I don't want to go out of my way to do them if, if all I want is to just get this. Oh! Here you go, rest of Taku, you get beaten up by an idol. As you wish. Here, you're weak to. Oh, you're not. I remember what you were weak to. Might have been gone. Pretty car. Nice. Ow. Ow. Ooh, I hot, huh? Ow, ow, ow. Comet kick. Ooh, alright. And you're up here. Alright, let's get you. Nice. So. Oh, let's. Debuff you. Nice, key. Damn, didn't even depth down? Okay. Come on, man. Let's kill you. Let's hit with a rush. Nice. And follow up. Nice. Oh, we skipped this turn too. Nice. Alright. Fear or no? Nope. Oh. Alright, I think that should uh, uh, combo. Yep. Nice. Alright, thanks for the money. And thanks for the soul. Why am I, I? It is so fucking easy to get soul. I don't understand why. No, let me see. I should be able to get this, right? Oh no, it's a waking level 5. Fuck. I love for sure I could get it now. Oh, wait, this was... Wait, what? Oh, like, episode 2 was Date. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. Never mind. I didn't realize episode 2 was just talking with Date. 
Oh, okay. Okay. No, I need levels. I really, really need levels. What can we do? Oh, well. Yeah, I'll try to I'll try to keep like minigame stuff to a minimum for now. I'll just try to do like you know, find spots of interest and do Oh. Okay, but if it's the driving range, okay, but the driving range is fun though. Hmm. There was a driving range in Southern Body. And golf course. And they're kind of like batting cages. Both great places to relieve stress. Oh, Sayama. I think I went to I think I went to one in Southern Body before. Right, with Kaoru. Somehow she managed to damage her golf club so badly and bent. An employee even yelled at us for it. I don't remember that. That must have been a Kiwami thing, because I don't remember that in, in OG OG2. Back then I thought she was someone who was perfect perfect in every way. <laughs> but she's actually pretty clumsy. So yeah. Even though we went our separate ways, I still cherish the time we spent together. Mm -hmm. Man, sure would be cool if we could see her again, huh? Yeah, just hypothetically. Hypothetically, would that not be pretty cool? Okay, look, I know I said keep minigames to a minimum, but I want to try this. <laughs> let's, just do, let's just do one round. Uh, what should I do, actually? Close to the pin? Begin off. Hey, I got achievement for it. So this should play out the same way as that's always has, right? Yes. Then again, this was in, uh... In Gaiden, if I remember right. <laughs> oh, goddammit. No! Yush! Yes! I don't even- what's the high- what's the high rank? I think it's... S? Hmm. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's not going in. Fuck. Yush! Yush! One meter this way, so like... There-ish? Oh, that's gonna miss too. <laughs> Fuck! If I had more power, that would yeah, that would have gone in if I had more power. Mini golf again? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, that should go in. Killing myself. Yush. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, two down. Let's probably hit there. That should okay. If that doesn't go in, I'm gonna cry. You should. Okay. This one surely, surely. Oh, I might have overshot it actually. Yeah, fuck me. You no, oh, okay, okay. Three this way. No, mm, that's gonna uh, that's gonna overshoot. Yeah. Yush, yush. Please, can I just get one of these in? This is the beginner course. It's cause it's gonna get worse from here. I need to get it here. <laughs> Yush. Come on now. Three. Like there ish. Hmm, <laughs> that's gonna be off. Yep. Yush. Yush. Okay, I got the S rank, but fuck. Let me just let me just get one. Let me just get one in, please. Like there. If I can keep it a straight shot. <laughs> nope. No, this was a hundred. Wow. Come pick it up. Oh, it did level me up though. Hey. I was surprised that was tech. I thought it was gonna be body. But thanks. Congratulations, pretty impressive. At your skill level, I'm sure you have no problem with the intermediate course. I'll try again another time. Let me go and do Remember, remember, pot spots of interest. 
Let's see, it was close by this. What the fuck's over here? What is over here? Enemies to kill. Okay, and I do have to kill them, actually. Seiryo High School. Hello. Ace Ruffians. Ooh, you're actually tough. Okay. Okay, let's take this one at a time. Let's debuff you. And hopefully catch some other people. Nice ski. Well, I caught one at least. That's good enough. Two candle rush on you guys. General rule of thumb when it comes to bosses, just kill the small people first. Not always applicable, of course, but you know, generally speaking. Nice. Heckling. Oh, you fucker. Hooligan Havoc. Is that a silence? Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh wait, the silence overrode the fucking the, the rage. That's good actually. Let's see. First thing, bottle. Ow. Okay, charmed, good. And I should get rid of this shit though. Here. Please die. <laughs> Yeah, let's get you. Actually, no. Let's let's kill you, since you're close to death anyway. Hi. Yarka. Let's do. Uh, let's try to charm you. That way we can have more people attacking. Nice. Good. 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 Alright, can you follow up? I wonder. Well, I mean, you should be able to, but I guess it's semi-random. Alright, let's get... Let's, yeah, let's go after you. Uh-uh. Oh. No follow-up from these guys, though. What the fuck? Uh-uh. Oh, there you go. There you go. Thank you, Okamura. You're very cool. Alright, what can we do here? Critical hit on you. Nice. And another follow up. That's sweet. Oh, not burning anymore. Shit. She. Now everyone's. Oh, fuck. Now everyone's silenced except you. Yeah, Nanba's melee damage is kind of shit, Jesus Christ. Okay, do you want you... Yeah, let's get you closer to the group. Come here. Oh, thanks, Tajima. Let's try to push you into Namba. Oh, never mind. Didn't realize the railing was there. Oh, no! So he is silenced. Okay, if you're silenced, then let's just kill you. Oh, nice. Back up? Oh, okay, no, okay, good, 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 good. I'll deal with more people. If I can. Oh, that's not nice anymore. Nice. Don't need it right, right now, though. Let's try to push you that way. Not quite. Not sirens. Okay. Smash step on you. Just to get rid of small people. Uh, 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 uh. She's not dead. Okay. Burn is gonna kill you though. That's fine. So let's try pushing you into combo. Nope. Okay, get up. Wait for you to get up. Back back. And combo. Perfect. Alright, so you're yeah. 
you're probably dead from this, and then Tachima's gonna die from burning, so... GG's! Or not! Oh! Oh! Lucky! I got one million just for that, holy shit. Nice, so nice, so. So what is this? What's the memory here? This year's a high school? The building's pretty nice. Speaking of high school, I wasn't the greatest student, to say the least. <laughs> oh yeah, flashback to zero. I'd cut class to hang out with Nishiki instead. It's pretty embarrassing, thinking back on it. I was a stereotypical delinquent. Maybe, maybe if I had taken my education more seriously, my life would have turned out differently. <sighs> no, I doubt it. I always wanted to be like Pops, like Kazuma-san. That'll never change. In the end, despite all the detours I ended up taking, this is the path I was meant to walk. This is my life. Damn. I was a typical delinquent back in my school days. Embarrassing, I know, but there's no point wasting time thinking about what ifs. In the end, despite all the detours I took, I managed to follow the path that Pops laid before me, and there's nothing I do to change it. Damn. Alright. Alright, I need more body, though. I need body points. I'll just... I think it's... Mm. Oh, was this here before? I don't think this construction was here before. Huh. Let's try to... Let's let's go... Let's Yeah, let's go. Let's take over this area. Might do the batting cages, too, if we're, since we're in the area. Now, what is this? Oh, I think I think I know what this is going to be. The ocean. This is going to be remembering the... the Like, the beach right outside of uh, Morning Glory. Or Saejima? What the fuck? Sometimes the ocean reminds you of Saejima. Why? Oh. Because he washed up on the beach of Morning Glory. That, that's a weird connection. I wonder why. Maybe because he's a man as big as the ocean and his heart just as vast? Or maybe it's because he was washed up on the beach in front of my house. That is so fucking weird, bro. I've never met anyone like him before. Guys that can usually end up dead. Well, he's ridiculously tough, physically and mentally. But he never flaunts his strength. In fact, he's the, the quietest and most considerate person I've ever met. He really is one hell of a man. <laughs> Whenever I think of him, I start thinking I still got a long ways to go. Yay! Oh, I got 30. I'm gonna achieve for that. Nice. Tiger Saijimers, an absurdly huge man setting absurdly huge standards I'm not even close to reaching. He's stronger and quieter than anyone else I've ever known. A man of his stature could take over the entire country if he wanted to, but he chose to help Daigo with the Great Dissolution, Dissolution instead. Yeah. Canonically, the only person that has fought Kiryu and not lose. Like, actually. I'm pretty sure they've only fought once, but it ended in a fucking stalemate somehow. Which is which is pretty shocking. I think I think uh, yeah I don't think they've ever rematched. There's never been like an official, or like any sort of confirmation on who's stronger between Kiryu and Saijima. So he's, we're just left to assume that yeah they're they're pretty much even, which is fucking impressive. Hmm. The batting cages, huh? No better feeling than hitting a home run. Oh, the team! No, I never did the sub story though. Fuck. I used to play ball at the sand lot back in Onomichi. I even put together a whole team of folks from the bar. Hitting a homer in a big open field was even more exhilarating than the batting cages. It'd be nice if we got to play baseball with everyone again. No, I never did it. Oh, I never did that one. I made many fond memories at the sand lot with my friends back in Onomichi. Hitting a home run in a big open field was exhilarating. One day I'd love to play ball with them. We will. I think they're... I'm pretty sure the trailers... The bucket list trailer did hint that... Or like, at least there were some hints about Onomichi. So I'm guessing we're gonna see at least one person from back then. I really hope it's Nagumo. Fucking... Big ass... Fucking meathead Nagumo, but I love him so much. Oh, what's my... What are my records on this shit? What up? Um... What do you have, actually? Super Monkey Ball soundtrack. The most valuable item here. Oh, oh Bastard Soda. This one's pretty good, actually. I remember having this in 7. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
book secrets body. Reading this book can improve your body. Oh, for a thousand points. I don't have a lot. Though. Can I see my record in this? Oh, no. Or like, what's the difference? They're not telling me what's what, which one's which. I'm assuming it's it's like usual, so that's like easy, normal, hard, alien. No, but there's there's way more now. What the fuck? Unless there's just no difference anymore. Oh, what's this? Oh, another entrance. I don't know this is here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let me do one. Let's just do one round of this. Uh, home run course. Um, alright. Sure. Oh, I already did advanced. Okay, let's do... Let's try to get all these. So let's, let's do beginner first. Yes. That should be pretty easy. This will be pretty fucking simple. Surely I'll at least break even, even in home runs. Come on, now. Can't fuck it up as badly as I, I fucked up the batting cages in Persona 5. At least I hope not. <laughs> nice. Yush! Yush! Yeah, this remind me how much this minigame has changed, though. Because <laughs> if I remember right, like, for the first couple of games, it was just... Or at least in Yakuza 1 and 2, if I remember right. Like, batting cages uh -huh. was just a timing thing. Like, you didn't Yush. aim ever. Or, you, like, you didn't do anything more precise than just timing shit. Huh. And I think they expanded a bit with mm. Yakuza 3, if I remember right. Where now you could do... Now you have to <laughs> aim, like, your shots a bit if you want a home run. While also dealing with timing. And I think in Yakuza 5, they made it a bit deeper. Yes. But I don't know if it was for everybody or if it was specifically for one of the characters or for Shinada. Huh. But it made it a bit more complicated how it worked. Mm. Mm -mm. But still mostly timing. Still look pretty cool. GG's. GG's. What are the ones for this, anyway? Let's see. Adventure Battle minigame. Uh, inside the park. Hit a total of 30 home runs to the batting center's home run course. Oh, okay. And then clear all beginner challenges. All these challenges. Okay. Uh, this is more stuff, but a total of five courses. Line up three in the Mega Challenge of Driving Range. Okay. What else is body? I feel like bodies might be the biggest problem here. Play coca at a gambling house. Mijincho. Collect a UFO. Catch a prize in arcade. Okay. Uh, plays one character in Spike Out Final Edition at an arcade. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It is gone. Alright, what's next? What's, what's around here? Yes. What is around here? Another memory and part time hero. Okay. Okay. Now, what would this memory be, though? Hello, woman and child. I will stand behind you for no reason. Mom, can I please go play soccer? Uh-huh. You broke your promise with me the other day. Please! I promise I'll be better this time. Bullshit. Yeah. Heartwarming sight, that is. <laughs> oh, Haruto! Oh, goddamn. I wonder if Haruto, Haruto will grow up like that. Haruto. Haruto Sawamura. Haruka and Yuta's child, and something like a grandson to me. Huh. Guess that makes me a grandpa. Never thought I'd be able to f see the faces of my grandchildren before I die. If only Lady Luck was b on my side. Damn. 
No, I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. I'd do anything to see how hot those future unfolds. We humans sure are greedy. No! Damn it. Oh. If only I wasn't such a pathetic grandfather. I can't even give him his New Year's money and what else are grandparents good for? Forgive me, Haruto. I'd be there for you if I could. Man. Oh. <laughs> Random threatening man. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. I'm having a moment here. Fuck off. I'm trying to be sad. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, holy shit! Wait, did you get into a car? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sick. Alright, oh, Rush might kill both of these here, actually. Depending on how I. Yeah, yep, yeah, you're gone. You're gone. Bro. Thanks for the money, bitches. Sorry for scaring you, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's go deal with that. And then there's another part-time hero here, and then more shit. Yeah, this is this just there's just like very. I love how these are placed. Actually, this is very conveniently placed to like just funnel you into. Hey, there's one right here, and then as you move, you're gonna find another one here. And then you know, since you're near in the area, you can also do this. Like, it's good. And I'm not even. There's still so much more to do too, because I. There's all the Kamarocho ones. Ooh, actually, since we're here, I wonder if I'm going to do this. Uh, smash the on you. Nice. Let's do that. No, nah, I'll get the hit. Okay, can I? Yeah. Oh, yes! Perfect. Damn it! <laughs> Blister Ball. Ooh, nice. Blister Ball. And he's a fear. Alright, let's try to get you. I should probably worry about the other guy more. Where is he? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Why do you have so much health? Yeah, okay. Now with this... Oh, you're dead. Okay. Throw him. Bye-bye. Oh, that... Oh, that gave me money. How convenient. Mm, spin sweep, huh? Oh yeah, that reminds me of I haven't checked what the uh, essence of remembrance is. I should check that. Thank you. That was oh, that was tech. Okay. Yeah, since oh, I didn't see this. Hold on, let me go do that. Monk of adulthood. I don't want to check this. Or I do want to check them, but I, 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 I'm I'm like hyper focusing on. On, on this shit. Oh, hi, Hito. Well, what could this be? Also, oh, since we're here, might as well eat. Don't think there'd be a cafe here. Oh, I'd like to order a shortcake to go with some strong black coffee that'll make for a perfect pair. Okay, you're gonna think of Cafe Alps. Guaranteed. The sweetness of the cake balances out with the bitterness of the coffee. Two complementary flavor profiles. I... I... <laughs> But if we're talking about the best combination ever, I'd say it'd have to be Data Sound and Helicopters. How the fuck do you make these connections, bro? What is wrong with you? I'm trying to remind you of like, hey, remember that one cafe we went to like a couple times and how there were like some some crazy ass stories we could tell from there? And you're like Helicopters. What the fuck? Every time I get involved in a crazy incident, Datasan almost always shows up to bail me out in a helicopter. Maybe that's why whenever I see Datasan in a chopper, I double down and stand my ground. Or maybe I've just been conditioned to think that way. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is a weird coincidence. Like, in almost every game, that shit happens, actually. Mm, very weird. 
Hey, Let's get the fucking sandwich. Oh, yeah, it's a bit いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。
Hmm. Should I check out the convenience store? Popo and M store are the go-to convenience stores. At least to me, they are. Okay, listen. I want to think it's just going to be a memory of, like, the Popo... Specifically, the, the Popo store in Tenkaichi Street. That's pretty close by to Serena in Kamenocho. But I feel like it's going to be some dumb bullshit. Like, oh... Uh, like, oh, I, I remember... I remember having fights in the in the popo and like throwing people's heads into microwaves and then having the employees like turn on the microwave so the person I just threw in there fucking dies. Let's see. Oh yeah, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> They've got bento, odin, Chinese buns, even their own specialties you can't get anywhere else. Hard to say which one I like more. Some customers get all, all up in arms for their favorite convenience store though. I guess I'm more of a moderate. I like the bento at Popo, but nothing beats the hot food they've got at the M store. Come to think of it, I haven't passed by here in a while. Maybe I should try something from both stores as a little comparison test for all time's sake. <laughs> no matter how old you get, shopping and eating delicious food will always be good fun. True. Why the fuck is the picture like you fighting in here though? Hmm. When it comes to convenience stores, Popo and M store dominate at the top. Hitting one up when you're suddenly feeling hungry is one of life's simplest pleasures. I feel bad whenever I bust their, their windows in a scuffle. Happens more often than I'd like. I'll be sure to pay them in the form of stopping by whenever I can. Hopefully there'll be enough to cover the damages. Someday. <laughs> Eventually. I mean, I guess I can buy... I can just buy shit. I guess I can just buy shit. Wait, can I not make- there we go. I mean, I have 10 million yen on hand, why would I not, right? Just buy 10 of everything in the store. Hey, at least I- I shouldn't- that mean, this means I shouldn't run out of heals for a while. Then again, these aren't great heals. Well, most of these are kind of shitty heals, but... At least I can- I can spam them between fights if I ever get into dungeons and whatnot. So it's not bad to have. Arigato. Alright. Alright, alright. What well, else is around here? Some more spots. And then one part-time hero. Two part-time heroes, actually. Alright. Okay, okay. Oh, 60. Okay, that should push me. That should be enough to push me into, oh, into the next, next lifelink. Spin tree Please don't dodge. You fucking asshole. Oh, you're weak to this, dude. Oh, come on now. Don't. Please. Alright, good. Uh, I'm sick of your. Bullshit. Let me. Yeah, fuck you. I don't, I'm sick of you dodging. No, I want to see. I want to see the whole thing. Just, just one more time. Remembrance. Minez Kirin. Ryuji's dragon. And Fishiki's fish. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ow. What, the f what is that attack? What? Thick small. Oh, that's an attack round. Oh, wait, weapon attack? On you, actually. Uh, uh. Oh, sure. Okay, let's try to combo you. Uh, uh, or not. Please hit. Alright, good. Alright, if you're gonna be paralyzed, let's try to go after you then. Nice. And then. Uh, 
Thank you. Yeah! Alright, we should get a call soon. Right? Should I get a call from Date? Because it doesn't seem to be tied to story progression, so we should. It's just. Yeah, there we go. Mosh mosh. Mosh mosh. Date da, Kiryu. Thank you for holding up traffic, son. Here, I appreciate it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, should I go there now or should I? Actually, there's a cab like literally right there. So let's, yeah, no, let's 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 head back. That's a very convenient cab there. So what's what's going on? What's happening now? Oh, Kitana, Kiryu. Iga, Korekara Mata Basho Kaerze. Somewhere? Mo Jumbi Adikter and Dana. Yep. But where? It's not Kamado. I feel like you'd, you'd say it's Kamado, Choi. Jitsoyo, Konka Yomai Nyasata, I guess to her. Oh, Tamata, my Jin Cho Nikter Terenchananda. Who? Nanda Tamata. So it's Rao Yobidashana or Janakte, Yokohama Seriu Kaisa. Ebinaga, Gogudo no Dainiji Daikai San or Misete, Chiho no Soshki no Koya. Wait, wait a minute. Sono Manikini Ojite, Kaigo Nikitanoga. Oh, she was just talking about it too. Ono Michkarana. Ono Michkar. Hiroshima Yome Rengo Kaino Choke, Hirose Ikano. Tagashira to Matsunaga. Oh, shit, but not. No, it's not Nagumo, is it? Well, actually, I don't remember Nagumo's last name. Matsunaga. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 it's not. It's not Nagumo, god damn it. Oh, then again, I think Nagumo's VA was a celebrity, though, that's probably. Yeah, Captain Nagumo couldn't make it. Fuck! Shisatsu? Ebina no Dainiji Daikai Sanga Jitsigan Sriba, Zenko no Gogudo Soshkin Mo Ekio Deru. Dogo no Kunda Timina, Yokohama no Gokinu Ashiram Fritigine. De Tagashira to Masnaga, Hiroshima no Yome Rengo Kayo Dai Hoste, Seriu Kayo Shatsu Nichanda. Aitsraga Hiroshima no Dai Hotwana. My wa Hirose Kamo Jakshu da Tayo. Yeah, I can imagine. Beat the Kesi.一家の総長だったヒロセトルの遺構だろう。ヒロセは四年間の戦いクルス・タケルに忠実に仕えて何十年も自分の手を汚し続けて死んだ。きっとその功績が評価されたんだろう。ヒロセの残した一
広島はお前が死んだとされる土地だ少し大げさにや桐生一馬終焉の地田頭も松永もその場に居合わせてだお前の死に際を見てどう思ったかちったは興味あるんじゃねえのか I'm more curious on the final moments of a certain someone or like did he hear the thoughts of a certain someone but... 悪い言い方だ、うん、俺にそんな覗き趣味はねえぞ<笑>まあこのタイミングで偉人町に来るなんてきっと何かの縁だぜじゃあ行くとするか田頭たちがどこにいるかは調べてある、oh? このすぐ近くの店で飲んでるんだ Where at actually? Where at specifically? I have no idea where this is Also that is the worst fucking disguise Oh my god 田頭と松永だああ二人とも全然変わってねえな昔あった頃のままだあおいやそうでもねえか周りにはあっちにあっちにあっちにあっちにあっちにあっちにあっちにあっわざわざ横浜くんだりまで来てやったのにおう招かれざる客っちゅうわけじゃのなめられたもんじゃ清流会のボンクラどもわしらが広島でどれほどのもんか分かっとらんわなんだか機嫌が悪そうだな、oh, if there's gonna be another bar fight here probably つかねえもんでイラついてるってところかさあこっから覗いてるだけじゃ分からねえよし来た、任せとけあいつらの事情は俺が直接聞き出してくるさええー、だてさ Did they even know you? I don't remember if they met that or not 俺は大学の行動を制限されてないもんでねお前と違って何でも自由に振る I think they must have because they did hide out in だてさ in Serena at one point but I don't know how closely they knew each other なんならあんだ警視庁の刑事でだてのことは Oh, never mind, yeah, never mind, they just, they just never met わしら東京のデカなんぞ誰も知りませんわさっさと消えて使わせでないとそこの若いもんはまだしつけができとらんけ噛みつかれて怪我しても知らんでへえおやおやそいつは穏やかじゃねえなねなんじゃい口だけじゃ思われとるんかのわしはちょ待てやったかしら東京の刑事で伊達言うたらキリーの兄貴は世話になったって人じゃないんか。ああ、わ。えあ、ああ。ねえ、そういえば。いや、じゃけど、そんなんがなんでここに広瀬一家の田頭に松永だよな。よかったら一杯おごらせてくれないか。今日は仕事じゃねえし、手帳をちらつかせる気もねえんだ。けどいいだろう。女の子はいねえし、退屈そうだ。ねえ。まあ。確かにそうじゃのうえ、ええんですか、兄貴。わし、デカと飲むなんて気進まんけど。I don't worry about it. ええんじゃ。伊達さんも言ったじゃろ。手帳なし、<笑>肩書き抜きのただのおしゃべりじゃ。Besides, he was friends with Kiryu Aniki. デカと飲むっちゅう話じゃないわ。No. そうじゃろ、伊達さん。ああ、あんたの言う通りだよ。まあ。松永の兄貴がええっちゅうんならわしもそれでおっありがとな。ありがとう。だってさん、サプライズのグルーブを聞くと、ね、それにしても二人さん、なんだかイラついてるように見えるな。どうしたなんかあったのかいなんかあったのかじゃありませんわ。横浜には呼ばれてきたのに、ずっとよそも扱いで。ゴラの元極道たちがみんなしてわしらを煙たかっとるんですわ。清流会の用意したビジネスの口も限りがあるけ。わざわざ遠くから来るなっちゅうことじゃろ。Could be to kill you. 自分らの取り分が減らんか心配しとるんじゃ。ほら、見てくださいや。みんなわしらを気にしております。そのくせ
Yeah, why is everyone staring? Just focus on your own shit. ここの客はみんな元極道か。今、偉人町は元東条会や元大見連合で溢れとりますけ。ペツにわしら広島で十分食えとるんじゃ。わざわざここに混んでもよかったんですわ。おいでも。陽明連合会の本家が頼む言うもんで仕方直きとるんじゃもしかしてこのテーブルだけずっと女の子が使わないのも嫌がらせだったのかもうだんないこれ心じゃ目星女も少なくてな広島の田舎もんにまで回してる
All right, where's this going to go? Oh, you come back here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> What the fuck? Are you sure this is safe? How are they not gonna recognize you? Come on now. Oh, I mean, bro, it's been like seven years. Surely you at least vaguely recognize him. No. ハハ、悪いな。こいつ無口なもんだよ。そこがまた縁じゃ。本物の男はそうよ。思えばあの人もそうじゃった。うん。の、兄貴。わしも思い出しとったね、高志だ。綺麗な兄貴のことをの。え
二度とはないんと違うか桐生の兄貴の生き様を見てすっかり血がたぎったっちゅうのに伝説の竜キルカズマが死ぬほどの大喧嘩にわしもおった広島であれほどの一大事はもう起こらん、うん、わしらはその後ずっとぬるま湯に使っとるそれがなんやもなしいんですわその点広瀬のおやさんはきっと本望じゃった最後にはあの桐生カズマと拳を交えてまぶしく散って死に顔もなんやすっきりした表情でのおうほうじゃったのうクルスタケルの汚れ仕事を請け負う裏の顔から解放されたってこともあるんじゃろうおいでもあんなかっこええ死に方するんは極道の花じゃうんじゃけさっきみたいなつまらん連中との喧嘩でもわしら喜んで買うつもりじゃったわわしらを止めたんが警察の人じゃなかったら代わりにお相手してもらうとこじゃうん<笑>冗談じゃねえよおいじゃが考えてみりゃそがなけんか何の足しにもならんいつの間にか腐っとったんですかのうわしら桐生、sure like、の兄貴のこと,と<笑>なくしたもんばっか数えて何度も昔語りじゃいつまでもそがなことやって偉そうにしとる天国のあの人らに見られたら恥ずかしいわ<笑>そのことを今日は何でか桐生院さんの喧嘩っぷりを見て思い知らされたんじゃ<笑>ほうじゃのうへえ<笑>本当にそれなんでなんだろうなうんうんうんなんだよ急に帰るのか俺のおごりだ全然遠慮なんかいらねえんだぜええんですもう帰りますわ清流会の視察もええ加減十分ですわそれよりも今は早う南雲の頭に土産話をしてやりたい気分なんですわへえどんな土産話だ横浜の偉人町でわしらは偶然あの桐生の兄貴にも見を取りせん男と会うたんじゃとな頭はきっとそがなことはありえんって言うじゃろうじゃがわしらはこう答えますわどんなにありえんことじゃろうがそれでもわしらはこの目で間違いなく見たとわしもですおおおおおおおもう引き止めねえぞだったら最後に一つだけ伝えておくことがある清流会から全国の極道への呼びかけは信用できないあれには何か裏がありそうだ広島側の話に乗るのはやめておいた方がいい<笑>それでしたら多分大丈夫です<笑>まだエミナの話につられるほど、陽明連合会の力は衰えとりませんけ。広島はこれからも、一本どっこでやっていく方針になると思いますわ。はい、こう。今のキルインさんの言葉で、誰もしやの。わしらも、今夜横浜から。帰ってきます。Anyway, I guess that the kind of leaves Hiroshima open to be a setting for a, like a future game if they keep the series going. Like, oh, some shit's going down in Hiroshima. Maybe we'll see the Hirose boys again. Probably not, though. And if we do, it probably won't be Nagumo because it's just getting. They couldn't even get Nagumo for this, even though he was like the leader of them. Probably because of actor, actor complications, but oh well. Tag. So, yeah, no mama, it's like a Kenka or Pajimichi Matatara. You may ring or Honke Makikonde or all sold in Naruto that ta. Kono Goji said that. 広瀬一家は最悪トカゲの尻尾切りで絶縁食らってたかもしれねえああ<笑>だからってお前は出てきちゃまずいだろうがもしバレててもこれは俺のせいじゃねえからな別に責めてなんかいねえだろいやな、no, don't, don't come crying if you get busted that day what the fuck 
Fuck it. Ooh. Oh, here's my, here's my, here's my, my kohai. Kiryu wins. Come on, no. Hiroshima o kakimasu dake kakimashita ageku. Katte ni shinda minanda. Aitsura no sono go kikeru. Oh, that reminds me. I wish you could have seen Kiyomi too, but yeah, she's also. She was also like an IRO actress in the. Yeah, probably wasn't gonna happen anyway. Dattara yogatta. Gochisou san. Mata kuryo. Mata kuryo. Ja, mata na kiryu. Bye bye. Bye bye. I drank with Matsunaga and Takashida, members of the Hirose family. With how they were talking about their circumstances, they sounded like real Yakuza. Perhaps because they've been following in the footsteps of their boss and Aniki Nagumo. This reunion just showed me how much better they're doing for themselves. Yeah. There's one, two, three, four more. Yay. Yay. Huge bomb level up, though. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Next one. Mm, let's see. There's seven, eight, nine, ten here. Okay. And how many am I missing? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Awakening level six. Where am I at right now? Still got all, not even Brawler is at is at six. Holy shit, this is gonna take a while. And I think this is oh no, I can still get two more. Yeah, just six and seven. Okay. Oh wait, six and seven. Okay, well, six, seven. So I just need eight and nine. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, back to the grind then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I still don't have 13 million yen, so I can't even buy any fucking weapons <laughs> off, of, off of Lao. Hmm. Alright, what? There's one. This is the taxi one. What, what, what could you remember from this? Oh, oh, this might be. Okay. It's it's a 50 50. It's either remembering, oh, yeah, I used to be a taxi driver back in Nagasuga, in Nagasugai, or it's gonna be. Oh. I remember taking the taxi a lot when I was a Kamurocho. <laughs> it's so mundane bullshit like that. The taxi, huh? I can't. I gotta resist. But the urge to check the car's interior for cleanliness and exterior body damage is too strong. I guess work habits are hard to break, even though it's been ages since I last drove a taxi myself. Yeah, back in Fukuoka. Or wait, I don't know why I said. What is it, Nagasugai? Am I fucking stupid? Wait. Nagasugai Yakuza. Or was that? Oh no, no, no! I was right. No, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was Nagasugai. I thought I might have gotten it confused with um. Yeah, with with um. God damn it! Was Hinata's city? But no, yeah, no, that was right. You need that much for a weapon? Well, if I'm buying it up of cha, up of, sorry, Chao Parong, then yeah, I think I can buy one. I think for the tennis ace class, but that's that's also like nine million. So, <laughs> and mind you, there's like three weapons I can get if I stick to the classes I have now. There's like three weapons I can get, and they're all thirteen million. So, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Led the Fukuoka for some time, but they're an alias working as a taxi driver. I'd rather not think back on those bleak, dreary days. I don't regret any of my past decisions, though. But what I'll always remember is the warmth the people of Nagasu Taxi showed me. They saved me more than I, than, more times than I can count. That reminds me, the food stalls Chief Nakajima told me, uh, took me to had really good food. If you're planning on a cross-country trip, don't skip out on Nagasuga, eh? It's a great town, but... Eh, still a match for Kamurocho. <laughs> man. Man really loves Kamurocho that much. Nagasugai Fukuoka, where I once lived and worked as Taichi Suzuki, the unassuming taxi driver. Though the time I spent was largely ble bleak and dreary, I do have fond memories of my co-workers in Nagasu Taxi. 
If they hadn't welcomed me in, I wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Kitty was full fucking depressed. Like, actually fucking depressed when he was there for a while. It's a good thing, the whole, like, his co-workers are actually, like, really, really nice. Where the fuck is this part-time? Oi! Whoa, 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 chill. Why is everyone higher level here now? Don't tell me it's more dangerous. Don't tell me I can't just run around here, I swear. Then again, I've leveled up enough that I should be... fine to go into Kamurocho now. You impatient! Weird. Weird audio, but okay. Yosh! Hey! No, I'm a rush? But if I remember right, I'm gonna have to check again, but I think I can... Oh shit. Ow! Ew! Motherfucker gave me COVID. Nice. Oh, oh. Nice. Let's kill him. Let's kill the man with an ivy bag. Uh, here. Let's just... Yeah, let's just get here. Uh, don't wait, let's have to jump off. You follow up. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I can knock you there. Nice. Then let's wait for you to get up. And now... Back attack. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. Or, or not. Uh, I think... Psycho can probably finish you off, so let's try to get you. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, okay. Touch up the- oh shit. A curse! God, more of this shit. Yeah, I'll think, I think if that's a grapple, I don't think I can actually block that. Man. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give Nanba my, like, whatever weapon I buy from Chao. Or like, like I'll, I'll select whatever weapon he's gonna handy. Because he's dealing really shitty damage with just the normal attacks. Nice. Sanko. That was tech. Alright. Alright, let's go around that way. Is there anything I can do along the way? B. Oh, that's a cabaret club. Nah. Nah, I don't really feel like it. I don't really feel like it. I usually try to avoid doing any cabaret stuff. Well, I know I, I, know I went all in once when I played Gaiden, but that, that was different. That's a, that's a, that's a special situation. That was a that was a unique circumstance, but normally I don't do that shit. Oh, although I did have to do it for uh, yeah, for some games it is necessary actually yeah, so if you do want to get the the secret boss, which is kind of sucky because there after a while it gets kind of old after a while doing all the hostess stuff, especially when it's it's just way more convenient if you just do like if you do that but with a guide, just so you know what to say every time instead of wasting a shit ton of money. Trying to guess what they what the best responses are. Hmm. Can't put my finger on what exactly it is, but this building doesn't seem very Japanese to me. Really, no. Looks more like something I'd see overseas instead. Yumi would probably like this sort of thing, though. Oh, you gotta remember this, man. One time she said the best place to hold a wedding ceremony would be Hawaii. If only I could have made that happen for her. And I almost have pulled some strings and sent me on a mission to Hawaii out of concern. But I should be grateful. Thanks to him, I finally got some of the closure I needed. By bringing her ring with me, I felt like I was taking her to the place she'd always dreamed of myself. I wonder if she'd be shocked by how foolish I've been. Or maybe she'd be pleased? At least I would hope so. 
Damn. The wedding ceremony held in Hawaii Church, Yumi described it so innoc innocently. Visiting Hawaii with Yumi's ring was nothing more than a selfish wish, wish of mine. But I still want to see her dream fulfilled. Maybe then she can rest in peace. Damn. Damn. Fuck off. No. Uh, let's do the part-time hero here. Oh, it's gonna be a little annoying to navigate, actually, but... Yeah... What would be the best way to do this? Maybe, like, follow a line like this? And then... I still have to run back. It'd be kind of weird, but... Uh, yeah. I think that seems about right. So, yeah, I have to backtrack a little bit. I can't just constantly move forward, but... It works. Yeah, if it works, it works. What's up, bitches? Oh, fuck, not these guys. God damn it. Ooh. Here, let's go Bob Carter to the fucking Oi, 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 oi. Stop dodging. Can you stop fucking. Can you stop? So, that did not go where it was, okay. Uh, Snoop Candle Rush. That should hit the other guy. Yeah, good. Now it's for you guys. Hmm, I'm tempted to use the dragon, but... Um, well, no, if I'm doing all this bullshit, then I'm probably not gonna need it later. Fuck it. I don't want you dodging my attack, so come here. Huh, 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 huh. Huh, huh. Actually, do I have triple follow-ups? Let's see. Huh, 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 huh. Huh, huh. Oh, no, oh, no, never mind, because that's... Yeah, that's the ending of that. Huh, 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 huh. Huh, huh. Nice. Alright, at least I got rid of the most annoying ones. Oh, oh, shit, that might be bad. Never mind. <laughs> What? Wait, who's next? Uh, oh, Kitty. Um, oh, it was a really convenient spot, but. Nah, I'll heal. Fine, I'll heal. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if Namba can follow up here. No, no. no. Let's go, though. Stun gun. Oh, shit. Yeah, this should kill. Yep. Yes. Oh, oh, we're close to leveling up, but not quite. Ooh, alright, good. Good, 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 good. So I just need tech and body. And actually, yeah, let's let's heal. Actually, is there a restaurant nearby? No. Alright. Let's take these. Cause I think it, it'll it'll be a bit before I can actually before I can level up. <laughs> Alright, so what, what's the order I wanted to do this? It was like... Mm, oh, this all looks like shit, though. Oh, no, it's probably... Yeah, go up, go up north, and then head all the way south, and then... Hit these places up. And then go back up north. Alright. Alright, alright. I just need a method. As long as I have a method, and it's not too convoluted, it's fine. What is going on here? Sound like castle. I believe this is a retirement home. Castles, huh? Are you gonna remember coming out to castle? No. Okay, no. Okay, okay. It, it can only be one of two things. It's either remembering Kamurocho Castle, which was like a like a weird like prison slash reformation center for Yakuza. Or it's remembering the fucking castle underneath another castle from Yakuza 2. Somehow I feel like it's actually going to be the Yakuza 2 reference. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. 
Oh, uh, I've seen a castle split into two vertically, but who the hell would believe me if I told him that? But it really did happen. I swear it did. On top of that, another castle popped out of the crack in the first one. So, yeah. Maybe I should visit that castle again sometime just to prove I didn't dream the whole thing up. That was a fucking fever dream. Holy shit. That was so fucking stupid. That might be one of, like, unironically, one of the dumbest shits the series has done. And it's it, it's so so casual, too. Like, yeah, there's just there's, there's just a castle below another castle. <laughs> and it belongs to, like, some some jobber from the Omi Alliance. It wasn't really anyone that, like, that important. Man. There are countless wonders in the world. I know for a fact I've experienced one myself, but at the same time, it feels like a dream. I swear I saw that huge castle split in two back in Osaka, though. And another golden one emerging from within. Yeah, people would probably think that's too crazy to be true. <laughs> ah, yeah, so true, Kiryu. Next you're gonna tell me you got into a machine gun fight with, with ninjas and that you had to fight two, two tigers barehanded and that you won. Huh, yeah, as if that would happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, that whole sequence is fucking weird. In retrospect, it was so fucking weird. I'm out of MP now. Oh, never mind. Yosh. One, two. Did not catch both of them somehow. Oh, that's probably not gonna hit the back guys, is it? Nope. Okay, at least we yeah, I still got Baron and Fear. Ow! Alright, let's get rid of you guys first. Nice. Nice. Ooh, that's good timing. Yes! Attack raised, alright. What if I just... What if I win, no? Oh, that was kind of shit. Wait, I just wouldn't have done that. Here, let's, let's try to charm you. Did that work? Nope. Nice. Ooh, they're going level though. Nice. I think everyone should level up actually because of uh, jobs. Next time. Sanyo. Alright, yeah. Then this other part time hero, there's another one down there. Alright, alright, alright. I think I'm doing like way. Yeah, I know. I'm definitely doing way more part time hero in this game than I did last time. Oh, then again, last time in 7, if I remember right, part time hero was just the completion list. Like, it wasn't this specific thing of like, oh. Or like, it wasn't just this of helping people out. It was. It was basically also the completion list. And there were also a lot of non-combat uh, assistance quests too. Like it was also about getting items to people and, and shit like that. It wasn't just doing fights over and over. Oh shit! Happy powder, don't give me cocaine. Holy fuck, that's the whole party. Oh no. Oh, I can't block all of this. Okay, that's good. But what the fuck? Do I even have anything to get rid of charm? I do, just not very much. Oh shit. Okay, uh, cycle. Yes. Okay, let's slowly get the whole party back. So you, then Songhi, where is she? Is she there? Yep. And Kiryu. Hora. Alright, rush. Let's beat the shit out of you. Stun. 
Let's... Let's kill you. Alright, the burn should kill you, actually. So you should be fine. Ow. <laughs> Stun gun off oh, again. Uh, let's do a weapon attack on you. Nice. Oh, um, let's see if I can't get you charmed. The thing is, I would like to hit him, but it's it's only gonna get him farther away from the group. Okay, let's do... What should we do here? Let's push it in the car. <laughs> Kill you though. Oh. Um, let's see. Let's try to get you. I think hitting you shouldn't get rid of charm. Yeah, okay, good. Bruh. Ow, ow. No, let's get you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh, uh, with double rush, that should kill, I think? Oh, uh, can I push you that way? Nah, it, it wouldn't be enough to, to combo, so... Yeah, I was gonna need a second. Got yeah, another turn, anyway. Suji made achievement, let's go! I see. So much fucking. Oh, that was body. Okay. So we have a long way to go. God damn. Um, small burger. Oh, it's a food truck though. Okay, there is a restaurant down there, but. Actually, wait. I just realized if we leveled up from job and we didn't. Oh. Oh. I never. I just noticed we didn't actually get all our health back and shit from uh, my job level. I thought for sure that we did. <laughs> Weird. At least I remember it being the case on seven. Maybe they changed it, and I, and I somehow just did not notice. Hmm. Okay. Oh, should I actually let's eat first because we are a bit low. Let's eat. I think there's a gambling hall, but I don't want to go in here right now. Oh, so it's like a gambling hall. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's because if it's just poker, then I'm fucked. I don't know how to play poker. Yeah, it's just poker. Nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> I can't play poker to save my life. I don't know how to do this shit. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's just poker. Never mind. I thought there might have been blackjack. Irashaimashu. King and queen. Tortilla chips. Chicken nuggies. Just a fucking pizza? What's the what's the king and queen? Oh, KK and QQ. Oh yeah, I see. Uh KK and QQ. All or nothing. Oh, that means like the whole Oh wait, no, what what is that? All or nothing? It's just two of these? Uh, Ace, Queen, TT, Joker, uh, what the fuck's TT? Huh. This? No, okay, let's, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do King and Queen, sure. And something else, too, just so we can actually get some health back. Itaraki mouse. Boost item drop rate. Okay. Cool. 
We're drunk as shit now, though. Arigato. Alright, let's leave. And now let's actually go fight that. Hello. More fucking more soul. God damn it. God damn it. So much soul level, up, but not much of anything else. Span sweep, aww. Actually, these guys do give me status. Okay, so maybe we should get rid of the patience first. Also, I might honestly change cycle into something else. But I'm not sure what. Like, if only because I'm getting a bit annoyed at how little... Like, she only has idle, like, the smash step for... For an attack. And I'm not even using... Well, I am using her, like, her debuffs a lot, but I can always just, like, skill and character and stuff. So it's not a big deal to not, you know, have that class active all the time. Uh -oh. Let me try to combo you, so get the fuck up. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna do it for though. Yeah, so too far away. Good stun, though. Oh, I thought there was only one hit. Here, what's uh, what has knockback? Miss. Ooh, nice. Nice, we follow up too. Alright. Let's try to combo. Sonny. Uh -uh. Nice. And come. Ronnie Oh, she's done in two turns. Oh, shit. Uh uh. Failed follow up. Mm, let's try. Let's try charming you. Oh, I failed. Ow. Shiver- Oh, fuck, this is gonna be terrible. Yup. Alright, come here. Oh, never mind. That was, uh, yeah, that was a weird angle. Because we can up. Alright, die. And you... You die too. Okay. Nice, good crit. Hey, where are you at? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful. I think that if that curse hits zero, that she's gonna die. So let's try to let's try to get rid of you before that happens. Nice. Alright, perfect. Bum, 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 bum. Step. Vital vibration. Oh. Wait, wait, vital vibration? Huh? Huh? So wait, where am I going now? Right, just through this. This is like the... This should be like the Chinatown equivalent. Or like this was... Was this the Liu Mang territory before? Yeah, it was, it was the Liu Mang territory in 7. I don't know what's coming with this place anymore, though. Because now it's not even... It's just Seiryu and Gomi Jewel, basically. Because what is this? Casino? I'll probably home this casino. No, I'm good. I'm good. Also, everyone's fucking dangerous here. Jeez. Uh, are these guys dangerous? Yes. Quite a bit, actually. Fuck. Actually, even worse, because they're... Yeah, they're like special enemies. Like, that's a special encounter. Ooh, I don't know if I can grab that right now. Yurashi! Let's grab something quickly. Yurashi! Yeah, maybe I should avoid like this little stretch of town. Maybe, like maybe I, I sh might be able to grab this. 
part-time hero, but otherwise... No. Yeah, okay, let's let's go back. Let's see if I can change Psycho into something. Yeah, I think she should be able to inherit at least like two skills if I change her job. And I might change it for Nanba too, but I'm not sure what to give him. I could give him host, because I could still buy some shit from Chow. Yush. Yush. Carol. Show the app. You haven't met your goal yet? Please check the app on your smartphone. You don't know what to do. Okay. Yeah, my, I suppose, since I'm here, I might as well change well, no costumes too. That. Let's change to. What should I do with you? What should I do with Kiryu? Hmm. Let's do... Yeah, let's do a judgment fit. Okay, no. Okay, first of all, Psycho. What can I do with you? Uh, fuck, I can't give you that one. Oh yeah, because that's in... I have to get that in Hawaii. God damn it. I can't get you Night Queen, because that's... Yeah, Bond is pretty high. Your fucking Geo Dancer is 50. Jesus. Actually, then I, I could get you the tennis ace stuff, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I could put you back in barmaid. Let's see. Slide pose. Oh yeah, you do get a you do get a good. You do get a good mix of like buffs and and attacks actually so uh, yeah maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll put you on this. Yeah sure. That's for outfit. Mm. Oh, like, the, the wake outfit is so good though. I don't want I don't want to change around a bit but mm. Mm. then again like I think all of her costumes are pretty good. Fine, no, let's let's get you at Sayama a bit. Why not? The girl boss fit. No, Nanba, what can I give you? Oh, no, he can't be host. Fuck, he's just a bit short in, in this, just to be, to be host. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll change you, I'll change you into that as soon as I can, though. That's for... That's for this, what should I give you? Should I give you? Don't get you don't get a lot of options actually. Fuck it, let's put you on the me. Why not? And some he, I think I'm gonna keep you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep her on on Night Queen. I might not. Maybe if I get that that last one, that last job, and yeah, I'll try to remember to do that once I get back control of Ichiban. But for now, well, this is fine. This is fine. Let's put you in. Hmm. What should I put you on? I don't know. I really like the gold swimsuit, but I also kind of want to change it. Uh, you know, no. Let's go traditional swimsuit. And yeah, that's good. That's all fine. Let's check this though. Okay. Let's do. I could use more AoE, so let's try. Burning Arrow. Cover HP for yourself and nearby bros. Okay, this it could be helpful just to have an extra. Extra healer, just in case anything bad happens. Then I'm just gonna be greatly if they're bleeding. Alright, yeah, let's do that too. For Nanba, oh, you just have this. Sonhi. Let's give you. Flash grenade, no. Gas grenade. Guaranteed crits with a back attack. 
Queen's Claw. Execute a, fee a feeble rival. Let's finish last time you applying your attributes. Gas grenade. Oh, that's an enemy area. Okay, well, yeah. Sure, let's get that. And cycle. Fuck, oh, she only gets one. Oh, yeah, because bond levels. Holy shit. Alright, let's get you... Let's get you Magical Song. Ah, oh, but... Mm... No, I guess if I'm gonna have Nanba and Kiryu have heals, then... Let's actually get you some debuffs. So let's try... Love Drink Typhoon. Yeah, for less chance of charm and reduced defense. Or, or reduced defense. Alright, alright, alright. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go. Alright, where else is there to go now? If I'm gonna avoid this side of town because this shit's got a bit fucked up, then let's just go up here. Let's take on the north. And pretty soon, fuck. Pretty soon I'm actually gonna have to head over to Kamurocho then. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's literally like just what's up here, plus I might be able to do the part-time heroes, like these two. And then maybe I could take a shot at this fight, but that's ugh, gonna be a bit tricky. Also, oh shit! I just realized I didn't check. I didn't check their equipment. Ooh, I did not check. Ow! Oh, they're level forty. Oh fuck! Yeah, I can't be here. Oh fuck! I can't be here. Hmm. Shit, I should have... Do, do I have something for... to escape? Yep. Let's leave. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can't... Ah, I can't be here right now. Too high level. Uh, yeah, so this area... Yeah, I can't go here at all. I can't do this either. Fuck. No. Oh, Alright. Okay. Okay. Where's the nearest cab? Right there. Uh, what's the nearest restaurant, actually? Let's do that. Just so we can heal up real quick. Hello. Hirashaimashi. Afternoon tea. What? Bitter and the sweet. Let's have a cup of coffee roasted with this. Uh, hot milk. Scone. So what's the bitter and the sweet? Coffee made from a blend of Brazilian and Guatemalan beans with a deep aroma and a rich taste. Also with with top shelf coffee beans. Enjoy the citrus bergamot fragrance of this tea grown in Sri in Sri Lanka under an exclusive contract. Wow. Wow. Well, there's no mention of bitter around here though. So I need the shortcake plus something here I'm gonna assume it's either of these so let's just yeah eat the it was neither what the fuck okay 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 well if I can't do anything because everyone's too fucking strong then I guess it's time I guess it's time. I wanted to put this off as much as possible, even though I know I can come here now, but... Oh, boy! Oh, boy. Wait, can I go to the other taxis, or is it just this one? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can go to the other ones. Holy shit, there's so much. There's a lot. Okay. First of all, okay, fuck, there's there's so much I can fucking talk about in Kamurocho, Jesus Christ. Okay, first of all, first of all, okay, let, let's, I could, I could bring up the fact that the first game actually starts, like, right around here, or maybe it was a little, a little further in, actually, a little bit further in, but, the main thing I remember off of this particular area, let me despawn those guys, I don't give a shit. The main thing I remember from this area is a substory in Yakuza 6, actually, where there was like a fucking terrorist, like a mini terrorist attack 
that was announced like right in that screen right there I don't remember who it was I feel like I think it was the snake flower triad that did that like like some remnants of them that did it and that led to a whole thing and there was like a bombing too like in one of the like right around here in which nobody got hurt but it's you know still kind of kind of spooky kind of spooky if you were a local at the time but yeah there's fuck there's so much it's genuinely like every step I could tell a story because there's something in every single corner of Kamurocho. There's just something happened, and doubly so if you if you do the side content for these games. Hmm. The Kazuma family office used to be here. It's been a while since I've last passed though. Yeah. Oh, was it here? No. Oh. I don't remember it being here. But <laughs> Shintaro Kazuma, the only man I've ever called pops. He seemed to, he seemed so mature and unfathomable back then. Yo. And now before I even knew it, I'm the same age he was. No wonder. If I was a role model for someone, just like how he was mine. Natsukashina. Nah, that dream is long past. What do you mean? Pops has always been a living legend, the guy I've looked up to for as long as I can remember. It's funny, all those years trying to follow in his footsteps and in the blink of an eye I'm suddenly his age. Wonder if he's proud looking down on me and seeing what kind of man I've become. Dom. Dom, 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 dom. Let's see, what else has happened here? Wait, what is this? Mahjong? Yeah, it's Mahjong. Mahjong. I, I'm almost tempted to jump in and do a game of Mahjong, but I don't think that's... Let's see, what what what, what does that fall under? Mini games, mini games. Shoki standoff, casual player. Oh, Kavron or Sumo five times of playing this Mahjong. Fuck! No, this is Soul. This is Soul. I already have too much Soul. I don't want to do Soul. But I, uh, I'm tempted though. I'm kind of tempted. Yeah. Okay. There's Mahjong. And of course, there's Stardust. I wish we could go in. I really, really wish we could go in. Mm. Mm. Alright, in this fucking place. There's actually so much you can talk about with this, with this particular spot here. So this is the back of Serena. There's... Okay, off the top of my head. I can think of... What are the major things that have happened here? I can think of one big fight in Yakuza 1 here, where Kiri was being hunted by Nishiki's guys, and one of them had a sword, and he was, he was, he was that was a whole thing. Uh, I think the main thing here, though, is the fucking plot of Yakuza 4 kind of more or less kickstarts here. Like, this is like the first major event in the plot of Yakuza 4 happens here or like as, as you see it you know as the story progresses chronologically it's not it goes back to like 1985 but you know this is the first big thing that happens happens right here with a fucking dude getting shot in the head right in front of this not not the specific vending machine but it was around here i'm pretty sure it was a different vending machine too and it was i don't know why this is in the corner now because i distinctly remember this was where these little little things used to be like the, it's these vending machines should not be in corners. I don't know why they are, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Let me get some shit while I'm here. But yeah. Thought of Yakuza like 4 kicks off. Kicks off right here. That sounds so random. No, like, the thing is, it's it's because a lot of other shit happened. Because earlier in the night, there's a big bar fight. And a guy, like a Yakuza officer, ran away to this spot. Where he had a confrontation with another Yakuza guy. Which ended with the the second guy shooting the first guy in the head. Which was kind of more or less pre-planned. As as that being like the catalyst to actually get a get a big plan moving. A plan that's more or less been in the works for like fucking 25 years at that point. But yeah, it's yeah. The, the first major thing that happens in Yakuza 4 is is this is right here and then Akiyama gets taken away by the police because they think he shot the guy which is kind of funny but nah alright the vacant lot behind Serena nothing much to it except for some reason I always end up in a fight here yeah I think one of the first fights uh oh oh I remember now yeah yeah another big thing is is this is where you first meet Majima or like this is where the, the player if you play in in release order this is where you first where, where you meet Majima for the first time. 
uh, you get into a fight with some random dude who turns out to be like a subordinate of Majima. And then Majima shows up like, what the fuck is wrong with you, subordinate? I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> and then Kiryu just stops him like, nah, 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 chill. It's fine. It's whatever. Uh. Oh yeah, that was a cool introduction. It just reminds me, he was voiced by Mark Hamill, though, in, <laughs> in the English dub, which is fucking weird. Apparently, he doesn't even remember that happening. Like, I think so someone asked Mark H Hamill on Twitter, like, oh, yeah, how, how did you feel about voicing Majima in, in Yakuza 1? And he was like... I don't remember this. I legit do not remember this. <laughs> We're just like, damn, alright. Unfortunate. And yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. That was the first meeting. From one on one scuffles to all out battle royales here of all places. Maybe this is just the ideal place for a brawl. <laughs> like some kind of punk rite of passage. Can't go out without throwing down a Serena back, back lot at least once. True. To the average person, the Serena backlog is nothing special, but for me, it's the place where I've had many a fight. From petty squabbles to life or death battles, I probably shouldn't stick around for too long. <laughs> now the brawl might be right around the corner. Ah. You mean... Like this one? Wait, my bad. Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Yo, the fuck goes on? Oh, it's the OG to wait. Wait, is it? Wait, is this the Kiwami remix or is this the OG? Well, no, it's the OG. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh fuck! Damn, okay. I'm kinda glad I waited so long to come here now. Damn. Get funky. Oh, I'm surprised they used like the OG version though and not the Kiwami remix. I mean, I'm glad because like, I think the OG is way better, but I'm surprised. I uh, was just surprised. Nice. Fuck. Actual nostalgia trip now, even though I played most of these games like not even, not even two years ago. Serena. Or rather, new Serena. The only place in the city I feel the calmest. I don't remember, when did they rebrand to New Serena? I think it was in 3, right? I mean, I don't think it went to shit at the end of 1 with fucking Reyna getting killed, but... I don't think they rebranded until... Until the Echoes of 3. Mm -mm. Nowadays, Datasana and the Mama managed the place, but in the past... Yeah, Reyna. Reyna was the Mama and, and Yumi worked here too. Nishiki and I frequented... Frequented the place, even though we had no money. Man. Man. Back then, we just listened to each other ramble on and on. I thought those peaceful days would last forever, but now... I'm the only one left behind. I don't think I could ever get used to this loneliness. So, yeah. It'd be nice if I could just walk into Serena, no hesitation, and have a drink. Damn. Serena's always been that special place for me. I'm sure Yumi, Nishiki, and Reina feel the same. Sometimes it feels like a huge weight's been lifted off of me the moment I walk through the door. But other times I leave with my heart twice as heavy. No, no other place can do that. Zam. Damn, damn, damn. Ooh, wait, there's a little alleyway here. Oh, I can- oh! Huh? Oh, shit. I wonder if there's some memories right around- wait. There's no memory there, huh? Interesting. There's some stories I could tell about that place. I'm surprised there's nothing... There's no spot of interest there. Eh, yeah, weird. Stardust. At one point it was taken over by the Jingwan Mafia. Yeah. But it looks like Kazuki and Yuya, the owner and manager, put in a great deal of effort to reclaim its title as Kamenocho's top post club. This town's a harsh place for honest folk. They've earned my respect for not only surviving, but thriving here. Actually, that reminds me. The first time I met Yuya, he came swinging at me right out of the blue. Yeah. 
We don't need any. We don't need any help from any yakuza. <laughs> Fucking best interaction. Said afterward that he mistook me for another yakuza trying to squeeze protection money from them. Perhaps it's because they got spirit. And they've been able to make it out here. Kazuki Yuya, this might be a tall order, but don't settle for being the best in Kamurocho. Aim to be the best in Japan. Damn. Hey, and if I'm still alive by then, I'll send you to an extra large congratulatory wreath anon anonymously, of course. Damn, alright. High expectations. Although it may have fallen from grace in the recent years, I think Stardust still has the potential to be the finest club in all of Japan. The reason it's still standing is due to Kazuki and Yuya's tireless efforts. And if they keep at it, I'm sure they can reclaim their former glory. Don't let up, guys. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, we're at six now. Still need a lot of body. I'm actually not even... I don't even want to rush this, actually. I'm fine with just taking my time with this in particular. Like, I don't care what I get for now, because I just... There's, there's so much. There's so much to talk about here. There's so much to talk about here. Now, what is this? Is this Kyushu? No, what, what the fuck is this place? And why can I just walk in so casually? Oh, wait. Oh, Cafe Alps. Right. We, I don't think that back door was there before. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what you're going to remember here. I know that... Okay, I can tell you there was a murder mystery in this fucking place. In Yakuza 3, there was a whole side story where there was a, like a murder that happened in Cafe Alps. And you're tasked to help out a guy figure out like who did it. Which I never completed. But it, it was like a pretty elaborate thing you had to like figure out. It was, it, was, it was pretty cool. It was, it was kind of interesting. I kind of wish I, I want to go. When I replay Echoes of 3, I want to. I definitely want to. Like, I'm looking forward to doing that. <clears throat> who done it? Yeah. No, an actual who done it. Like, just for a quest. And this is years before Judgment, so I can't even do. Way before the, the, the detective game. The official detective game. <clears throat> Cafe Alps. This place has been around for a while. It was even well established before the bubble era. I spent hours nursing a cup of coffee here before. Gotta say I'm pretty fond of this place. If memory sor it serves, all sorts of dangerous things went down here. I remember completing my first ever job training session at this cafe. I once worked somewhere, somewhere called Tachibana Real Estate in the past. Oh, right! Because you, you had a big... Uh, a meeting with... Uh, fuck, I forgot his name already, but... Like, Tachibana subordinate here. And zero. Yeah, Oda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oda, 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 Oda. Who did it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. The, like I told you, I never, I never finished that quest. So I don't know who actually did it. I, I, I think it was the manager. But I'm not entirely sure. He drilled business etiquette 101 into my head here. He was an asshole though. I never liked him much at all. Yeah, but thanks to him, I remember the proper way to exchange business cards to this day. Kind of a useless skill, though, when I have no reason to. <laughs> hey, you're a real estate tycoon for a while. When I think about Cafe Alps, I can't help but remember some unpleasant memories of being drilled on business etiquette. And that equally unpleasant bastard, Oda, you never know what people will remember you by. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go to public part three. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Nakamichi Street. There's a lot of shit that went down here. If I remember right. Okay. Starting from this side. Oh, well, actually. There, there's like... Oh my god. I came up with like three different stories to introduce this fucking place. Okay. So first. In this exact spot. In Yakuza 2. There's this woman that is helping out the orphanage uh, that Kiryu grew up in. Because if I remember right, like, early on in the story, uh, Kiryu sends, uh, sends Haruka back to that orphanage, like, while all the plot is going on, like, uh, at the start. And there's a woman here that you can come across, and she's like, oh. Like, oh, hi, Kiryu-san, like, can you... Like, the orphanage is kind of struggling a little bit, so if you have, like, any spare money you can donate to the orphanage, then, you know, like... I'd appreciate it, and, uh, and you can come to me uh, if you ever have anything you like, an amount you want to donate. And yeah, uh, like that's uh, that's a sub story in that game. It's just coming here once you have big, like big uh, sums of money to donate, and you just get updates about the, the orphanage. It's pretty cool. 
it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Sometimes you get pictures from Haruka too, which is pretty cute. And now the police station. I don't know what the fuck I can say about this actually. No, I would think build a police a police station this large here. It's giving off an I've got my eye on you vibe. Cause they do. The cops and I get along like dogs and cats. But the detectives have encountered all guys who die for what I believe in. And I've been influenced by their way of life time after time. That's a son especially. Uh, with that man of great depth, I doubt I'd ever be able to repay. If it weren't for him, I don't know if I'd still be alive to this day. Huh. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? <laughs> Who'd think a former Yakuza and a detective would end up being friends? And one of the only ones I've got at that. <laughs> well, one of the only ones you have that are still alive. <laughs> That's morbid as it is. Stubborn old man and awkward father who tra who treasures his daughter and a hard-boiled detective who meets out justice better than anyone I've ever known. In fact, I'm one of the people he saved. I may not have much time left, but I wish I could repay Dr. Sun somehow for all he's done for me. Too soon. Uh, it's been years, but it's too soon. It's still too soon. Alright, what the fuck else is happening in this place? Um, If I remember right, maybe, I think it's a little bit further ahead, but... It was in this street that you get introduced to uh, one of your mentors in Yakuza 0, Bakus. And one of the main tutorial things in, in Zero happens here, actually, where you get introduced to the Rush style. Like, Bakus just- or like, Bakus and his- and his buddy introduce you to the Rush style, and that's where you get like a pretty- <laughs> the pretty iconic meme of like, Kiryu looking into the camera and being like, that's rad! Because it is just him being introduced to that, like one of his fighting styles, and it happened right around here. I think it was closer to the Sega uh, arcade, so it's like right around this spot, if memory serves right. But it, it was for sure in this street. For sure, it was in this street. Mm -mm -mm. Why is this called Gigo though? This should be a Sega arcade. What the fuck? What else has happened? Um. Um, 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 um. Around here, you get introduced to a weird Skynet type sub story in Six. Actually, now that I think about it, like there's a guy who's testing out like a new app called I think it was called um, fuck, what was it called? Uh, I don't okay, I don't remember the exact name, but it, it, was, it was Siri. It was basically Siri, and it's. He basically tells you, like, oh, yeah, you should try Siri, like, install it on your phone and shit. And it, it leads to some weird-ass shit. Because Siri basically gets you, like, identifies people and tells you, hey, you should go in and help out that person. Because I've determined that there's a fucking crime, like, a crime is going to happen over there. So you should go stop it. I instead of Siri, like, calling the police or anything. And it just, it eventually creeps, it, it becomes creepy as fuck, because it's like, oh, yeah, like, give, give me your information, give me this, give me that, and it's like, oh, oh, great, they just made Skynet, wonderful. One far four. I think at the end of that quest, it kind of just ends in like a weird, weirdly bleak note of like, yeah, th this Siri probably shouldn't exist, but also it's been spread around so much that it's, it's kind of too late now, so... We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, first, let's see what, what else has happened in the street. There's a karaoke con right there. Nice. As far as any other shit that I can remember, mm, off the top of my head, the only more significant thing I remember now is... The one of the biggest confrontations in Yakuza 7, plot wise, <clears throat> happens right around here. Where, like, I think it's, it's assumed that Ichiban and his party got killed back in Ijincho, but then they just roll up here. Like, as, as the main villain of 7 is here giving a whole speech, because he's, he's a politician, like, he's giving a whole speech, and then Ichiban, fucking Chad, like, they show up in Kamurocho, and Ichiban just Rips off of this guy, starts running, gets a boost from one of his friends, and just jumps up to, onto the truck he was on. And he's like, oh, 
Hello, public, I'm still alive, because he was also running as a politician in 7. Like, very briefly. And it, it was a whole, it was fucking sick, actually, it was a whole power move. Just being like, yep, I'm still in this. I'm still in this. It was a cool moment. It was a really, really cool moment, actually. Oh, like, the last... Really, just the, like the last couple hours of 7 are fucking wonderful. Plot-wise. Just in every way, but especially plot-wise. They're really, really good. Nice. Shop dropper. All right. Yeah, let me go back and get that part-time hero. Actually. And while we're there, I can yap even more. <clears throat> so, we're this place. There's a couple significant things that have happened in this place, actually. So. First one, actually, for this... Oh, this spot didn't used to have this entrance, actually. Yeah, this entrance didn't used to exist in this in this spot, for one. Also, uh, to my memory, what has happened here? There was a big fight here once, but I... Let me double check to make sure it's not any other spot. Nope, okay. Okay, so I can think in Yakuza 0, maybe one of the most famous things that happens in this particular place is that in Yakuza 0... There's a fucking sub-story where a kid... I think it was further... It was a little further out in this in this area, but it, it was in this general, like, square. <laughs> There's a fucking kid that I think was trying to buy a porn magazine. And if I recall correctly, Kiryu is like, hmm. Like, he has, like, a whole moral quandary of, like, hmm. You know, I, I kind of used to do this as a kid, too, but... Should... Hmm. Should I help this kid out or not? What should I do? <laughs> it's a whole fucking thing. It's so weird. It, it's it's just like a humorous bit, but it's it was like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, I think I think it's like the most memorable thing of of this place. Like that's the that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of this little square it's here. But what else has happened? I think in Yakuza Two, this was actually the first time they introduced a, a weapons dealer called Kamiyama, if I remember right. Or like, no, I, I don't remember exactly, but I think it's that yes. he's here. Like, there, Kamiyama's like this fat like this fat dude that deals in weapons. And he, in Yakuza 2, they have a model that, that, that is him that shows up here. I just don't remember if he actually deals in weapons, though. I know because in, in Yakuza 3, in Yakuza 3, Kamiyama becomes your main, like, weapons dealer uh, across, like, Okinawa and Kamurocho. But he's... Uh, he, I think he only got a name in Yakuza 3. But the weird thing is, in Yakuza 2, he actually did exist. Like, he actually existed as he looks in Yakuza 3. It's just, he didn't have as much presence. And he was, like, right here in this little corner. Which kind of caught me off guard when I was replaying 2. I was like, what the fuck? It's Kamiyama. Ugh. What else happens? Um, there's a big fight in Yakuza 5, actually. Is it 1 or 2? No, I think... No, no, no. It was... Yeah, it was just one big fight in here, if I remember right. Between, I believe, Kiryu and Baba? Yeah, it was Kiryu and Baba right here. It was, it was a decent fight. It was pretty fun. What else happens? Now, in this little spot, I recall, I think you have to get... I don't know if it was for a sub-story, if it was for a main story, but you have to get, like, alcohol from a, like, to a homeless guy that's sitting right around here in Yakuza 1. Which you usually you can just get from, literally just run to the pop and you can get him something. That's pretty quick. Uh, I think more significant is here, right in that swing set, actually, Baba from Yakuza 5 and Haruka actually have a quick meeting right here. <clears throat> Which I think is like the main changing like turning point for Baba as a character. To like where he more or less has a change of heart, but not really. But it is it's like one of the turning points for his character is talking to Haruka right here. And what else? Right in this bench. This is when Ichiban 
this is this is where Ichiban spent his last day. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Was it? No, like this is where Ichiban spent New Year's actually, because he went out to do a bunch of jobs and shit, and then for New Year, like after, or at some point he he just came here, had a drink and just fell asleep, and then the next day he got a call from Sawashiro that was like, hey, uh, some shit happened, so I'm gonna have to, yeah. Yeah, some shit happened. So, some shit happened, so now the plot's gonna kick off. <clears throat> oh, yeah, border break AC. I actually don't recognize this, but thank you. Thank you. That's as, as much as I remember from this little, little park. This shitty little park. Hello? Actually, I wonder if there's gonna be an Aloha here. It would be convenient, but I feel like I might have to run back to the intro for it. Shop dropper. Oh! Ooh, nice. Women do be shopping. Oh! Oh, that caught the other guy too, nice. Alright. Okay, let's wait. Yeah, I probably should have waited. Yeah. I was like, no, the, 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 the kick will kill him, right? No. Nice, good follow. I kind of wish they, they had, like, the other battle teams throughout the series, though. It'd be cool as shit to hear Kamado again. L like, the song is literally called Kamado Again from Yakuza 6. It was, it was really, really so Really cool. It was a big track, but it's... If we're doing, like, a semi-nostalgia trip, then it's it's most fitting to have the funk goes on from the first game, so... You know, it's fine. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Let's see, what else can I think of that has happened around here? Oh, uh, if I remember right, one of the first sub-stories you can do in Yakuza 1 is actually here in Takaichi. Where there's a dude blocking the path around here. No, fuck, I don't remember. But I know one of the first sub-stories you can do in, in 1 is is here, specifically. Ugh. Let's see. What else has happened? What else has happened? No! Wait, this is close now? Fuck! Wait, I think I remember this place. This used to be a... This used to be a gelato shop, actually. For most of the games, this, this was a gelato shop. Let's kill you while I'm talking. Yeah, that building there that's being constructed on, that used to be a gelato shop for a while. I don't know when... Or if they changed it at some point. Like, I don't know if it, in, in a previous game... That was in construction, I just didn't notice it. But I know for sure, at least up until Yakuza 4, that was a building you can go into. Man, what happened? What happened? And actually, if I remember right, there used to be like a sub story about a Dine and Dasher that also involved like going into that gelato shop. <laughs> But I'm not entirely sure because there's a lot of there's a surprising amount of Dine and Dash like stories throughout these games. I think after three, after Yakuza three, it actually became like one dude that that was like a recurrent character if you did those quests. But I know there was at least one in Yakuza two that, that was also like that. But it was more it was just like a one time thing, or it was more of a guessing game. Of figuring out which person fit the description of the Dying Dasher. Yukaku. Yeah, I don't think this was here before. Or at least not in that specific spot. Hmm. Now this. Ho ho! The thing they closed! Oh yeah. Wait, can I go into. No, you can't. Oh, that's funny. So this spot. If I remember right, this spot. And also, I'm gonna run a little bit, because it is pretty close by. 
about that little spot over there, and also this place right here. I don't know what this is anymore, but this, those two places used to be uh, patchy slots. They used to be patchy slots, and specifically in Yakuza 7, or at least I think it, it must have been in 7 and maybe also 6, you could run into that place and play patchy slot, but... Because of some weird ass like gambling laws or across countries, and because you know Steam is, is like in, like in, in many different countries and whatever, you had to buy the or you know you didn't have to buy it, but you had to download Patchy Slots as like its own DLC add-on. Like it didn't come with the game natively. You had to get it, you know, you had to get it by itself if you were in the in an applicable region, which is kind of fucking weird, but whatever. I think it was the same deal in Yakuza 4, I think. Like, this place used to be... I think this place used to be called Volcanic. And this used to be a patchy slot. You could play in Yakuza 1 and 2, if I recall right. But in Yakuza 3 and 4, they just they, it was just cut out. Like, this this was supposed to be playable, but because of that whole thing with, like, like gambling laws, like, that wasn't there in international releases for Yakuza 4. But I think in future games they just added it. Like, hey, now you can actually... You know, now you can do shit. Which is kind of a, a problem, actually. Because I think you... You could go in here and get, um... And get locker keys. So they had to change that. <laughs> Not to mention, like, like probably some other... Like, completion achievements and whatnot. Because no doubt they would have included patchy slots. For completion. Like, as part of the 100% completion list. Weird quirks, weird quirks. Now what is this? Oh, what's this? Looks like a fun, like a fun watch. <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna have memories of Dead Souls. I swear to God. A zombie film, huh? You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pretty popular movie genre. I wonder if that's why I had a weird dream about zombies myself. In that dream, Kamurocho was swarmed with zombies for some reason. The entire town was closed off to contain them, and everyone still trapped inside, left for dead. Funny. I also had this absurdly huge gun that went on a whole rampage. What an insane dream. I don't know why, but everything was just so vivid. The emotions I felt I, I felt then still leave an impression on me today. Perhaps this is a memory from an alternate timeline? Nazkashina. Ha, yeah. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Fuck off. Oh. That is mildly upsetting knowing that Sega, or like at least like the director for the series, like the current director, went on record saying, Yeah, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna remake or re-release that souls, so fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. It's such a pain in the ass to emulate too. Like, if I remember right, like, last time I, I looked in on it, like, Dead Souls is a fucking bitch. It is a bitch to emulate on a PS3 emulator. It just crashes all the fucking time. I have not tried myself, but every time I hear about it, it's just like, yeah, bro, this this sucks. This sucks to emulate. If you want to play it that badly, you're going to have to find, a, a like, a copy of it physically and play it on an actual PS3. Man. Man. Although, if we've gone down the road of spin-offs... I wonder if they're going to reference Fist of the North Star. They probably will. They probably will. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta re-release the shit, Sega. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're missing out on money. Release. Oh, boy. Okay, do I want to get into a diatribe about that shit right now? Not really. <laughs> Is a uh, S3 emulation not as refined as other console emulators? Eh, it's tricky. Depends on it depends on the game a bit. Some games it runs pretty good. Like I like near OG near. It's pretty it's pretty good on PS3 emulation. Like that's that's the first game I ever did a let's play on here actually. I streamed all of near. <clears throat> but yeah, some some games do run good. It depends on the game, but generally, at least in my experience, it's decent. But I guess, like, some of the more popular games might be harder to do, though. Like, I know MGS4 was a bit tricky to emulate for a while. And I think, um... Even, like, Red Dead Redemption was a bit tricky, too. But, yeah, it's still... There's still some improvements that can be made to this shit. 
I don't, I'm wondering about Xbox emulation, though, if that's how that's going. Ooh, oh, I know one thing I can stall with. Um, so right around this spot. Right around here. Is that a, wait, was that a high level enemy? Oh, shit. Uh, wait, I might have to redo this. Wait a minute. Also, am I gonna have memory there? Yeah, yeah, good. Let me despawn those guys. Hirashimashu. Well, I guess if I'm here, I'm gonna eat something. Itadakimasu. Yay. So I have a bit to go for Nambalo. Okay, so more talking. So, 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 so. Before I talk about that fucking place. So, right around here, in this little corner, in front of the Millennium Tower, this used to be uh, Akiyama's, Akiyama's Hostess Club. Like, Akiyama used to run a hostess club that was located right around here. <clears throat> oh, let me drink water because I'm fucked. Which, really enough, becomes like a, a an important story bit for a couple of reasons. Because first of all, uh, one of the 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 woman, <clears throat> the woman Yasuko, the the important woman in the plot of Yakuza Four, she uh, she basically goes into hiding as a hostess here for a while, and like Akiyama helps helps her out, but it also becomes a, a vehicle for <laughs> the game to make a mandatory hostess mini game, because you couldn't manage hostesses in previous games. But it became a mandatory thing for like a brief chapter to help out, uh, to, get, to help up Yasuko, <laughs> which is a which is a weird start of of these games having like mandatory mini game introductions, where they just had you going through all like n not all of them, but through a good chunk of mini games as part of the main story, and having like weird ass excuses to do it. But yeah, it was it was a whole thing. It was a weird thing. Oh, okay, fuck. Is this the place... Is this really the... Is, might this be the place that I can talk about the most, actually? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay, well... The Millennium Tower. The Millennium Tower. The what? The place. The place. The, the, the place of all time in the Yakuza series. Because this is... Basically, okay. Actually, not always. I have this meme. I don't know if this. I don't know if this is a universal thing in the community. But in my mind, I like to think of this place as being like, oh, this is where every Yakuza game ends. But that's not exactly true. Like, okay, let me try to think. So, Yakuza One ends here. Yakuza Two ends in a high-rise building, but I don't think it was a Millennium Tower, unless I'm misremembering. Yakuza 3 ends in a hospital. Yakuza 4 does end in the roof of Millennium Tower. Yakuza 5, um, Millennium Tower is important, but it ends in the Tojo headquarters. Or at least, okay, one, one of the character's endings is at the top of the Millennium Tower, but the actual, actual ending of the story is in the Tojo headquarters. Yakuza 0 ends on a boat somewhere, I don't remember where. Yakuza 6 ends in Hiroshima. And Yakuza... Okay, Yakuza 7 does end here. Yeah, Yakuza 7 does not end here, now I think about it. But yeah, it's, it's only about half the games that end here, but every single game, you come here for the story. Like, at some point, the story's gonna send you here. And it's usually some big confrontation, too. Like, even in... Fucking... Even in Yakuza 3, like... This this place here, this is where Kashiwagi was supposed to die. This is where the bartender had survived was supposed to have died, but he just didn't, I guess. <laughs> what else happens? The start of Yakuza 3, <clears throat> like the prologue, the tutorial chapter, uh, ends in this place, too. You have a fight with Majima at the very top. What else? Uh, 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 uh. Yakuza 6 is a pretty big moment that happens here towards the end of the story, actually. Where you come here to... Kiryu literally comes here to try to kill... 
some top brass Tojo guys that have been fucking with him. But instead it ends with like a really cool boss fight against one of the minor villains in that game. And uh, kind of tragic end to him too. Rust in peace, Somaya. Which leads me, okay, that leads into another tangent. Because there's this whole bit. Okay, there's a there's a bit about that fight with Somaya specifically. That has always fucking bothered me. And it should be more, like, more motivation for me to learn Japanese. Because there's... Like, okay, one whole thing in Yakuza 6 is that one of the supporting characters, this woman called Kyo, she has, like, a complicated relationship with one of the main villains of the game, uh, called Somaya. She, like, basically the two fell in love many, many years ago, and it was like, like it was like a uh, genuine love. But because Somiya was insistent on being a Yakuza, they kind of their relationship kind of fractured after a while, and they separated. <clears throat> With Kiyomi just running away to Hiroshima, and then I think Somiya taking care of their kid, if I remember right. But yeah, like their relationship is is really is is kind of messy, right? So when you come up here in the plot of six. Like, the main moment when you come up, up here in 6, uh, what's happened is that Kiyomi has been captured by the main villains, and then they make a like a deal with Somei, where, where they're like, okay, we're baiting Kiryu to come here, we're gonna have you fight him, if you can kill him, then we'll, we'll, let, we'll let Kiyomi go. And that leads to a whole fight that has like a really cool, really cool sequence like in the middle of it and it, the, like the soundtrack for that for that fight is really really cool too but at the very end like of course Somiya fucking loses because you're not gonna fucking win against Kiryu and he <clears throat> because they're the villains are on the verge of like oh well you failed your task so we're just gonna kill Kiyomi he decides Somiya decides as like a last minute thing he decides fuck it then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill myself then and maybe, you know, because it, it, it wasn't just, oh no, it, like they, the villains made a deal with him of like, oh, well, release Kiyomi if, if you win, but also, you know, if Kiryu wins this fight, or if Kiryu kills you, then we'll also release Kiyomi, because Kiryu also killed Kiyomi a lot. And he, so he decides, okay, well, I'm just gonna stab myself in the stomach, and, you know, if I die, then that's, you know, that's the deal it's fulfilled. Of course, they don't fucking fulfill it, but you know, that's besides the point. The main point is, as soon as he does that, as soon as he stabs himself, Kiyomi, because they're, they're watching this, because they're watching this through a video, like Kiyomi and, and the villains, uh, like, everyone's like, oh shit, no, Somiya, and Kiyomi specifically says, when that happens, she looks at Somiya and she says, Anata, she goes like, Anata! And, okay, here's the thing, right? So, Anata, in Japanese, that means in when... Generally, when it's a woman saying that, in, like, in that particular context, it's, uh, it's a woman referring lovingly to a husband. Or at least that's how it, it can be used. Or, like, that's one way for it to be used. Which is really, really fucking interesting. Like, it's basically like a, like a, a wife saying, like, honey or, like, dear, right? And that's that is super super interesting because it's it it shows like even in that moment, like Kiyomi's instinct that like despite all the shit that Somiya put her through, like in that moment she's still like oh that's my husband like that's still the man I love even though it's you know so much has happened between the two of us, which is a really cool bit of characterization. But you see, you see, this is where the Sega moment happens because. She says that, which is really fucking cool and interesting about her character. But then you look at the subtitles, and the subtitle just says Somia. Like, she just says Somia according to the subtitles, which is just not fucking true. And it really fucking annoyed me. Like, it almost took me out of the moment when I first played Six. Because I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's a really... That's a really big moment of nuance there and it just gets taken out because fucking i don't know i guess they just thought it'd be weird if the woman says deer because i guess people just don't say deer anymore i don't fucking know it just it really fucking bothered me because it was like like that's that's so important that's so fucking important and you're not gonna catch that 
you're not gonna catch that if you don't understand Japanese. And uh, fuck, I don't understand Japanese. That's just one word I, I happen to, to know. I happen to know the nuance of that word. <laughs> if I didn't know that, I wouldn't have caught that. God damn. Fucking Sega moments. Ugh. Japanese linguistic with all caps, no. That's all the trivia you're gonna get with me. Because I, I don't... I, Japanese is still shit. My Japanese is still shit. But I just remember that was a moment that really, really bothered me. <clears throat> Some very good nuance, very good characterization just lost. Oh, because... Fuck it, I guess. No one says beer anymore. Anyways... <laughs> <laughs> the Millennium Tower. This is where my fate began. Yeah. Oh, this is where I saw the score with Akira Nishikiyama. Mm. Even though we weren't related by blood, Nishiki was the closest thing I had to a brother. I thought we could just keep screwing around a small time Yakuza under the boss, but I don't know where it all went wrong. Or if this was the way things had to be. No matter how much thought I put into it, I just can't figure it out. That's why I need to keep my head up. Until it's time for us to meet again, and I can face him with pride. I'll keep on living, or at least try to. Damn. Damn. Akira Nishikiyama was like a brother to me. I know I shouldn't dwell on what it could have been, but I can't help it. Was there a way to prevent that tragedy? Could we have ever walked the same path together? I doubt I'll, ever, I'll never know the answer for I doubt I'll ever know the answer for sure. Zam. Zam, zam, zam. Oh, so in that whole rant, I could've just fucking... I could've just fought these guys. <laughs> I was so fucking... I was so focused on that. I was so focused on complaining, I forgot to play the game. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Can I catch everybody here? No. No. Nice. Wait, who's Konishi? Oh, he's the... That guy. Oh. Let's try... Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Nice! Oh, good knockback, too. Alright. Let's try to get you... Amba. Did not work with this one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fix the hair. That raise it back, okay. Oh. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Oh. Is that a cold? Yep. Dance all. Oi. Hey. Hey, now. Hey, now. Don't be doing that shit. Actually, you know what? If you're gonna do that. Fuck you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hey, nice. <laughs> I didn't spam this shit. I'm pretty sure I could just keep spamming this, right? And then... Oh, never mind. I thought I could keep spamming that and get a... Like the big finish you could get in six. <laughs> Spinning thing. Oh, a ball dance? Okay. <laughs> nice. He just right out. L. No. No. Oh, let's see. Next one, player. Good enough back. Dad. Okay, I gotta kill at least. But I was trying to do a combo. Ooh, no bunker. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. This dude. Oh, you're. I know. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, thanks for that. Oh, two eighty-five. Holy shit, that's a lot. For a, like a really simple follow-up, that's a lot. Jewel break. Off. Nice. Ball break. Off. Okay, let's see. Damages an enemy with leg work that aims at the vitals may lower their defense yeah. and fertility. What? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Damn, alright. Okay, man. And he's still charmed. Holy fuck, you're a pervert. 
I get it though. I get it. Alright, let's wait for it to get up. Uh, so he gonna fell up? No. That's fine though. We still winning this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There Alright. Okay, where else can we go? Well, I'm slowly getting through these, so let's. Should I just start from the bottom? Yeah, let's, let's do from the bottom. I just kind of ended up here by coincidence because I just got to talking about so much shit. <clears throat> oh, then I'm a little nervous about the eastern side of town, though, because it looks like there's more dangerous enemies that way. Still, let's see what's around here. What else I can talk my head off about? See, there should be a Majong Parlor right around here. No, they got rid of it. Fuck. Oh, it's a pawn shop, though. Ooh, there is a good story about this pawn shop, actually. Um, let's see. In Yakuza 6, there's a sub-story where, like... Ow. There's this little girl that's hanging out in the children's park, right here. And she's basically, like, a big fan of Haruka. Because Haruka had a brief stand as, a, as an idol back in 2012. And she... She's basically like, oh, I want something to, like, like, s some memorabilia of, of Haruka, or some merch, or something. And that leads you to a whole wild goose chase, which I think ends with you, I, I don't know if it ends here, but for sure you come here to, as part of the, as part of the quest. And I think the, the coolest thing, actually, is that once that quest is over, you go back, and... You talk to the girl, you give her the thing, and I think she... I, I don't remember, but I, I think she, she actually, like, figured out. Like, the little girl actually figured out that Kiryu was, was like, Haruka's adopted dad. Because I think the, the thing she said specifically was, like, oh, like, when I... Like, I, I, I realized it was you, or, like, I realized you were her dad, because when I talked... When I started talking about her, you had these eyes... That all that a dad that only a dad would have when discussing his daughter, which which I thought was damn okay. And then when she when she leaves, like her mom comes and picks her up and shit, she leaves you with a picture that she drew, like this really like this actually really cute picture, that was like of of her, and and Haruka in like her idol outfit, and Kiryu, and because and she wanted to include Kiryu there because. Cause he was, she was like, oh well, you know, old man here, he's my friend, cause he's helping me out with, you know, with getting my like any memorabilia of Haruka. I was like, man, it was really cute. It was a really cute quest. I'm, I'm really glad that of all the the few sub stories I did for six, cause I really, I really, really rushed my playthrough of six. I'm glad that was one I did, cause that, that was really, that was a really nice one. Well, yeah, that'd be Supon. From family heirloom sides as part of deck collection to a ring being sold the same day it was given to a hostess. Mm -hmm. Pawn shop is a place where all kinds of things gather, each with their own history. But for some reason, this place always struck me as a weapon and armory shop. They've got Japanese swords and even chainmail armor. Strange as the selection is, I have to say I do like the variety. I really appreciate the shop for getting me far. Yeah, there's, a, there's some weird shit you can buy here. There's some weird ass shit you can get here. Irashaimase. Irashaimase. Can I sell stuff? Do I have anything? Any dumb shit I can sell? Uh, other. I have a paper plate. I have a jewel. Oh, that's Olivia's knob. Give me that. And. Yeah, I don't really have anything. Arigatou oh, gozaimashita. Let's get rid of this part time hero. Mm, 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 so much soul. Why? I don't know why I'm getting so much soul. Now, I wonder if more body and rush stuff is just reserved for the minigames or something. Because, damn, that's a lot of... 
Ah, it's a lot of shit I don't even want. Oh, so I was trying to do AoE. I'm, I'm like autopiloting so many of these spices. I'm so focused on wanting to talk about this place. But hey, as long as it works. Yeah, yeah. Here, let's get you on here. And oh, you're you're in a annoying spot. Okay, let's kill you. Let's you. Trance power. Okay. Stun. Get you that way. Might hit you with cycle. Yeah. All right. Let's get you. Twice. There we go. And we'll finish you. Nice, 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 nice. Kanji. Thank you. Kitty's bond with this team has enhanced the skills, so he'll now chain attack down enemies more often. A nice. Okay. Uh. Okay. Th I mentioned it before. No, this is under construction. But yeah, in, in this street there used to be a mahjong parlor. In this little area here. Oh, was it just a mahjong parlor? Yeah. No, I, I remember the, this street being as like. It was just the pawn shop. Like I know this best as. This is the little, the little corner with the pawn shop and the mahjong parlor, but I guess it's just gone now. <laughs> oh, how time erodes all things I love. Oh, oh. <laughs> I also remember, I think in Yakuza 1, there was a, a dumb quest here where there was a dude like sitting around. Uh, uh, like it was a clown artist. It was like some dude sitting around, and then if you walk in front of him, he's like. Oh no, you asshole! You stepped on my you stepped on my contact lenses. You're gonna have to pay me like eighteen trillion dollars because they're super expensive contact lenses, or I'm gonna beat you up. And of course, you just, you just beat him up, and that that's it. That's the quest. That, that's the quest. <laughs> there's a lot of quests in Yakuza One specifically. There's like a lot of very basic quests like that, where it's just like oh. Yeah, someone's trying to scam you, so I just beat the shit out of them. That's it. Like, it's not, not really anything special most of the time. They really, like, they, they over over the years, like, they've really improved the quest lines and made them more intricate and more, just more interesting in general. Oh, also reminds me, I think around here, I think, if I recall correctly, in Yakuza, I don't know if it was Yakuza 1 or Yakuza 2, there was a sub-story... Of a girl, basically a recreation of, of like little matchstick girl, but here and with a couple more fights. I don't remember too much about it, but I do remember like that's more or less where the quest started. Oh yeah, also fuck, you can't go down here. That sucks. The underground mall. Oh man. In Yakuza 4, yeah, that's from Yakuza 4. I don't know if it was included in Yakuza 5, but the thing is, in Yakuza 4, because Yakuza 4 was... Now that I think about it, it's maybe the only game in the series that has never had you go into another city. Well, or at least not, not really, at least not having like a separate hub city like this. They decided to expand Kamurocho a little bit, and one of the things they did is they did a, an underground section uh, that had like a little strip mall, like an under underground strip mall, which is pretty small. There's not a lot going on down there. Like there's only uh, lockers you could get, like for more like uh, more items you could find, and I think maybe like one or two sub stories. But you know, there wasn't much there. Not not a whole lot there, but still, kind of a shame. It's not you can't really go down there anymore. But also in Yakuza Four, you they also expanded it by having rooftops. Actually, there was like a whole. A whole like network of rooftops spreading out across the city they could run through the main ones I think the main ones ran through like Tenkaichi like the western side of the map so like Tenkaichi to Theater Avenue to Theater Square there were a couple near the hotel district uh, I don't remember it extending too much to the east though not from memory mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. What else is around here? This is. Ooh, Lemos! 
Lemash, and I can predict what this remembrance is going to be about, actually. So in this, here you can actually, you used to be able to come here, uh, mostly, mainly for hostess things. So to either buy yourself items that would give you favor with the hostesses, or if you're on a date with a hostess, you could come here and, and buy them like really expensive shit. That's for main story. Uh, in Yakuza 4, you do come here briefly, I think, to buy some stuff for Yasuko as part of her hostess stint. But, cute. Uh, but the main thing is that in Yakuza Kiwami, like specifically Yakuza Kiwami, they added an extra scene where Kiryu comes here to pick up the ring that he's going to give Yumi. Which is actually a cool detail. Like, that wasn't in Yakuza 1. Like, in Yakuza 1, he just gives, like, I think she just has the ring. Or, like, she, like, Kiryu gives her the ring, like, you know, like, off screen before the story starts. But in Kiwami, they specifically had it so that you come here to pick it up, which is, is kind of cool. This is a little, it was a, little, it was a little cool. It's one of the few additions to Kiwami that was actually kind of nice. Hmm, so this means this rem reminiscence is probably going to be that. Lamash, huh? Can't believe this place is still kicking. Normally, a guy like me wouldn't visit such an ordinary, high-class boutique, but I've made a great memory here before. Yeah! See, I told you. I once bought Yumi a ring. Uh, Yumi, a birthday present here. I never did that kind of thing before, so I was really nervous about it. And to top it all off, it got stolen right after I bought it, so I had to track down the thief to get it back. I went through hell because of that ring, but it was all worth it. Because I was able to give her something she'd always wanted. <laughs> I hope Yumi was happy with it. She was! I'm sure she was. If you ask me what the best purchase of my life would be, I think of Lemash right away and everything that took place here. Uh, to think I'd give a woman a ring as a birthday present. I really was a naive fool back then. <laughs> it's fine. Irashaimasen. Now it's a high quality weapon shop. Oh, oh. Rockstar bag. Holy fuck. 14 million. Then again, this is a high class place, so I kind of get it, but holy shit, man. Oh, 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 oh. Backbreaker. Should I give this... Okay, I do want Nanba to get more. Okay, you know what? There you go. First big spend. First big spend of the year. I want to get two achievements for that damn. Well, not achievements, but like, completion shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. What about this place? If I remember right, there should have been a Shogi parlor right around here. I want to say it was, like, here-ish? I know for sure, I think it was in, um, in Yakuza 4. It was in the PS3 games. So, like, from Yakuza 3 to Yakuza 4, there should have been a, a Mahjong, or not a Mahjong, a, a Shogi Parlor somewhere in this area. Or it might have been in, in Pink Street, but I know it was, like, in this general square here. There should have been, like, there would have been a shogi parlor, but I guess not anymore. They probably moved it somewhere else. Maybe it was to, like, a homeless camp. <laughs> Assuming there, there's still homeless camps around here. No, this spot, I actually don't know what this spot would be. What this, rem like, re remembrance would be. I so you can maybe think of one, but I'm not sure if, if it's this spot in particular. Or if I'm thinking of the correct spot. Let's do gas. Let's gas him. And the follow-up. Leaky Rocket, what the fuck? That sounds like a euphemism. A Leaky Rocket, bro. Please get your Leaky Rocket away from me. Um. Oh, we can try Burning Arrow, actually. 
It does remind me I've barely been using my my MP with Kiryu. I've just been hitting people into other people. Yeah. I mean, hey, as long as it works. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it just feels a bit more natural to have Kiryu just beating the shit out of people instead of doing it like, you know, magic attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Oh, I don't think you'd wake up in time. Alright. Uh, let's get here. What? How do you miss? He was grounded. Gosh, y'all. Let's hit you with Clever Bag. Nice. Let's do. Sure. Vital vibration. This and then end with the final. Yep. Fuck, you're not stunned this turn, are you? Oh, never mind. Alright, then I should be able to kill both of you now. If I just do rush call ups. Up, oh, up. Oh. Or not. Maybe with this. There. Oh. I just get one million off of that. What the fuck? Nice. Alright. So, what is this? This wasn't where Haruka got run over, was it? Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. It is. It is. Actually, this. Yeah. I see the parking lot, like, way back there. I, I, I can't go there, but... Yeah, this is... This is where Haruka got run over at, like, at some point in Yakuza 6. God damn. I don't want to stick around here for too long because this is the same place where Haruka got in an accident. Yeah. I understand what people mean now when they say your mind goes blank. I never want to recall that incident, but I can't forget the anguish I felt hearing how she shielded Haruto from the impact. She's always been a strong kid. Now she's stronger than ever she ever was, than I ever was. Uh, so that's what it means to be a parent. Damn. Pains me to even think about it, but when Haruka got into an accident, she nearly lost her life protecting her son Haruto. I hold so much respect for her as a parent and a guardian. You have grown stronger than I, I ever could have, Haruka. Damn. But I'm at 7 just from that. Nice. Okay. There's another remembrance over there that has its own fucking story. Also, if I remember right... Okay, I haven't played Judgment yet. What the fuck? Also, wait, what? Moshimoshimosh? Oh, I can... Oh! Wait, really? Wait, actually, I'm like at the lo oh, oh, well, shit. I guess it doesn't have to. Oh, I, I thought I had to get like every every type to be that level in order to. Oh, well. I mean, I guess eventually I will have to, but I guess for now, not necessarily. Interesting. Well, I mean, shit. If if I have it, sure, let me go do it. Ooh, let me go do it. Let's see. Ooh, I've been going for a while, so you know what? I'll go do that. I'll make that the last thing I do for tonight. I don't know who... I'm not sure who it would be, though. Just let me check. What level... What level is this? Five, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't know. No, could be. Let's go back. Let's see. I can think of if we already got the. Let's let's see which ones we've done already. Okay, we got Tai Chi out of the way. I can. I'm gonna assume he's like a representative of. Of like sunflower in general, not counting 
you know, without counting Haruka, which I, yeah, I'd imagine Haruka is probably the very last one. Um, but yeah, we got Taichi, we got Data himself, we got Yuya and Kazuki, we got the Hiroshima guys. I guess there's, there's still Akiyama and there's still a Pocket Circuit Fighter, but, and there's Sayama too, but I don't know who else might show up. Let's see. Oh, Komaki might show up actually. Hmm. Oh, Kitano。いや。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Yeah。Y
何があっても社員として戻ってこいってどん底の俺に手を差し伸べてくれたなのに何の礼も言えてねうん分かったよじゃあそいつを伝えるのが今日の俺の役目ってわけだな<笑>こん店は楽しかねえ俺もう横浜に引っ越しましょうかねえほんとにそしたら毎日うちまで通えるね絶対待ってるふやーそげんこつしたらおいはすぐはさんばいうっうっはじめまして中島社長私が伊達です楽しんでいただけてますかいやあいやいやすまんこってす俺としたことがつい夢中になってしまうてさげんでした刑事さんと待ち合わせやったばいそう固く並んでくださいこちらこそわざわざ遠くまでお運びいただいて座っても構いませんかも,もちろん当たり前たいいやーバッテンまた鈴木さんの名前は聞くことになるとは思わんやったばいただ電話でも言った通り俺が鈴木さんを最後に見たとは、mm -hmm. もう10年前で、oh, yeah, I guess so. 証言話が今さら警察のお役に立つんやろか Ask him what he was、like. 実は鈴木とは私も刑事の立場を離れて個人的な付き合いがあったんですそれであいつを知ってる人と無償に飲みたくて社長に迷惑なことは承知の上ですあいやいやよかよか交通費も出してもろうとるしそれに俺も鈴木さんについては同じ思いばい無口な人やったけんど妙に記憶に残るそげん男やったほんで鈴木さんはそのなんか事件でも起こしたんやろうかもしかして逮捕はされるとやろうかんああいや逮捕って鈴木はもう何年も前に死んでますからええうんそうやったとですかいや知らなかったんですかいや,いや知らんです知らんです俺は全然そうですか鈴木さんがそげんこつにいやー信じられん仕事一筋の真面目な人やったとになんか少し話が噛み合ってないかな一応確認ですが社長これはご存知ですよね鈴木太一っていう名前が偽名だったことは、no. 偽名いやそげのはずなかでしょうまさかアホなこつ言わんでください、huh? いやあれあれ That's strange. I'm sure I told him that was a fake name. That was from a Tojo. What the fuck? Did you forget? Did you forget? あのでしたら落ち着いて聞いてください。鈴木太一というのは偽名だったんです。あいつの本当の名前は桐生カズマ。東条会で道島の竜と呼ばれていた極道でした。あの鈴木さんは嘘でしょう。なんかの間違いでしょうあもしかしたら俺の言う鈴木さんと伊達さんの言う鈴木さんは別人やなかろうか、うん、なるほどそうきましたかそういうことならこの写真の男見覚えはありませんか以前にテレビの報道で何度も流れました、yeah, こいつが桐生一馬ですこの映像が流れた後無所に入りそして広島で命を落としましたいやそのやっぱ俺の知っとる鈴木さんとは別人のことあるですねはなんだってなんだって
She's probably p playing dumb by pretending he doesn't know me. He's got the right idea. Letting the police know he was involved with me would do him no favors, especially considering the fact that he's got his own company to run. どこまで料費を出させることはなかったとに。いや、待ってください、社長。なんでです。え?あいつが九州で鈴木を名乗っていたのは確かなんです。あんたはなんで桐を知らないふりするんです。知らんふりもなんも別の人やったばって。すいません
Tate is a veteran. He managed to convince, assess the situation and put himself in the chief's shoes. I can hand it to him. I'm impressed. Suzuki あの、ここ<笑> え、さぞ驚かれたことでしょう。そりゃそうまい。待て。そんじゃ。さっきの動画は何ね。俺はもう訳がわからん。だってさは人よね。結局キリュカズマは鈴木さんは今も無事に生きとるとやね。Maybe
よせよ水くせえところでさっきは俺を親友って言ってくれたよなねあいやあれはその中島社長に信用してもらわなきゃならなかったからよバルラインバルライン胸の奥まで染みる言葉だったよ今の俺には特に心強かったもしよかったら取り消さないでくれるかシェッそうだな悩むかなあハグするかなあ<笑>まだそこまで酔っちゃいねえ<笑>だよなだよなはいナスフェムダースクイエーイ Got to see Nakajima san, better known as the chief of Nagasu Taxi, who took me under his wing when I was in Fukuoka. He's still as brash and clumsy as I remember, at least from what I saw. I owe both, I both, I owe both him and that san so much. Those two are truly irreplaceable. Yay! Nice, nice, very nice. And he's the guest now. Nice. All right, that was sweet. That was sweet, but I'll probably end there first. Let me check. Okay, so I only have one more. I only have one more I can do for this chapter. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, I think I can reach it fairly quickly. I'm gonna have to go to the Kamurocho for that, though. Yeah, because I probably can't, still can't. It might be a little while until I can tackle those top streets. I'm gonna assume maybe like level 37 ish. Should probably be okay to try to tackle that. Ah, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. I guess I'll just have to play it by ear. I mean, either way, I'm just gonna be hanging out here <laughs> for a while. For a good while. I'm gonna spend a good while just here anyway. Oh, yeah, cool. That'll be that. That'll be that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, cool. Day off tomorrow and then Phoenix Wright again on Monday. Yay. I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll eat something quickly, but I'm definitely gonna stay up for a while. But for now, that's all. That's it. That's everything. Good night.